Chapter 2661 The Five Sovereigns to Sen Feng Fei's body shook as she remembered that Long Chen had secretly messaged her to save energy to flee for her life. Now that he gave her such a sudden cue, after a moment's hesitation, she stamped on the air and retreated from the core of the tribulation. This sudden retreat confounded everyone. Feng Fei was no longer interested in fighting for karmic luck. Look, suddenly, a startled cry rang and people followed that person's gaze. Their focus went from the blue lotus to up above. The heavenly gate had yet to dissipate. The tribulation still isn't over. There's more. Heavens, if that wasn't the last wave just now, then didn't that mean that this wave would be even more terrifying? What could be more terrifying than nine clones of the originals? Just at this moment, the four corners and the center of the heavenly gate blazed with light. The heavenly gate suddenly exploded, transforming into lightning runes that rained down. That was scary. So that really was the end. The disappearance of that heavenly gate indicated that the heavenly tribulation was officially over. No. What's that? Someone pointed to the core of the heavenly tribulation. Within the reign of lightning. Five figures appeared. When they appeared, silence struck everyone. Of those five people, four were men and one was a woman. The four men wore snow white robes that fluttered in the wind with noble majesty. The world quivered just from their presence. All Deo served them. The woman wore a violet dress. She was like a peerlessly beautiful fairy standing above the mortal world. Sov. Sovereigns. Within the silence, one elder finally managed to shout out their identities. The aura of a sovereign could not be imitated. They were all supreme existences that had gained the reverence of all creeds and races. They were mysterious existences that only left behind mysteries. No one remembered their appearances. However, when they appeared, they were instantly recognized for who they were. Just standing there, they gave people an urge to sacrifice their lives for them without hesitation. Greetings, sovereigns. Countless experts knelt. Even the high priest. Deoist heavenly feather, and the music master came out of the void, no longer concealing themselves. They all paid their respects. The divine family's Lord Venerate also led the family's heads and the strongest experts of the divine families to kneel. People were filled with gratitude toward the sovereigns. Without them, the martial heaven continent would have long since been destroyed. They were the real protector gods of the continent. Everyone, please rise. We are nothing more than five dead people. We are not worthy of such treatment. Sovereign Yun Chang spoke from within the reign of lightning. His voice contained a warm and peaceful feeling that filled people with newfound confidence. It was as if as long as he was present, there was nothing to fear in this world. There was no way to describe the emotions running through every single person at the side of the five sovereigns. They had never imagined that they would be able to see the true faces of the sovereigns in their lifetime. Even if they died right now, it would be worth it. Greetings to all the sovereigns. Yun Chang pays his respects. Sovereign Yun Chang turned and bowed slightly to the other four. Greetings to the first generation. To see all my seniors is the fortune of three lifetimes. Sovereign Zi Yang was also extremely moved. As the last of the sovereigns, he had only ever seen Sovereign Han Wei. Even for sovereigns, they only ever saw a maximum of two other sovereigns. They were born in different eras and unable to leap through the flow of time to see each other. But now, they had all gathered in Long Chen's heavenly tribulation. The gathering of the five sovereigns was the most shocking thing on the martial heaven continent. Sovereign Yun Chang looked into the distance and saw Yun Tian. Yun Tian also looked back at him. Only now did everyone realize just how much Yun Tian looked like Sovereign Yun Chang. If it wasn't for the ancient aura and boundless sovereign might coming from sovereign Yun Shang, they wouldn't have even been able to tell who was who. Anyone who had previously questioned Yun Shian's identity instantly felt profound guilt. The two of their gazes locked at a distance. After a long time, sovereign Yun Tian sadly said, Child, I'm sorry. Yun Tian shook his head. His voice was heavy but steady. You don't need to apologize. I should thank you. You are the greatest pride of my life. So I will also strive to be a person like my father. Sovereign Yun Chang nodded and didn't say anything further to Yun Tian. Instead, he turned to Long Chen. Long Chen was also emotional. I didn't expect that we would meet once more. Sovereign Yun Chang smiled. Yes, we meet once again. 
Dragonbone Evil Moon, we're all old friends. Are you not planning on seeing me? Evil Moon appeared in Long Chen's hand, and a giant dragon manifested behind Long Chen. It was a black two-headed dragon. Evil Moon's true form. Evil Moon cursed. Fuck your greetings. What is there to say? You shameless fellow. I only lost to you due to carelessness. But you didn't give me a second chance. You just turned me into my current state. If I have a chance, I'll definitely kill you. Evil Moon was filled with sullenness toward his defeat to Sovereign Yun Shang. That time, it had been far too careless. You probably won't have that chance. I'm already dead. No matter how strong you are, you can't kill someone twice, right? Furthermore, are you not doing well? Has Long Chen mistreated you? Sovereign Yun Shang smiled faintly. I can't be bothered to waste words on you. We'll see who is stronger in a bit. Evil Moon snorted and returned to Long Chen's primal chaos space. As they spoke, the Dragon Woman, the Nine-Headed Lion, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, and the others' expressions changed. When the Five Sovereigns appeared, the world froze, and even the laws of heaven and earth changed. They were shaken by the Sovereign Might. Even these heavenly geniuses with the power of an entire world supporting them grew uneasy. Even if the current realm of the five sovereigns was the same as them, the initial breakthrough to heaven merging, they still felt reverence for them within their souls. Brother Long, last time I let you pass during the heavenly tribulation, I told you that this karma would be accounted for next time, but I didn't expect that you would be infected by the karma from all five of us. Let me first thank you for giving us this chance to meet each other. But I must say, are you prepared? This is a heavenly tribulation. We can't possibly have mercy on you, said Sovereign Moli. Of course I am prepared. Haven't I gathered a few scapegoats? Long Chen pointed to the nine-headed lion and the others, causing their expressions to turn green. Chapter 2662 So arrogant? The nine-headed lion, the Aldevil Heavenwalker the dragon woman, the blood fiend devil lord, and the others only realized that they had fallen for Long Chen's trap at this moment. It seemed that everything had been calculated by Long Chen. With the five sovereign present, it would be said that there was nowhere to run. There was no path to the heavens, no gate to the earth. Even Yi Liangchen and the others' expressions changed. Jiang Wachen suddenly thought of how Feng Fei had retreated and sent him a spiritual message to quickly flee. However, he hadn't understood or had a chance to ask what she meant before the five sovereigns descended. Not bad. You know how to take advantage of opportunities. You know that our power comes from the heavenly tribulation. Once the power of this heavenly tribulation runs out, it will count as a pass. Little brother, you're getting smarter. Sovereign Han Wei laughed, seemingly very pleased. Big sister praises me. It's not me being smart but simply some fools forcibly charging in. They refused to leave no matter what I did, said Long Chen humbly. Long Chen, we came here to help you handle them, shouted Long Aotian coldly. Long Chen had essentially included the divine families when he called them fools. However, at the same time, Long Aotian was unable to conceal his jealousy. The five sovereigns had appeared in Long Chen's heavenly tribulation. What did that signify? It signified that Long Chen was the successor that they had chosen. Long Chen was essentially set as the sixth generation sovereign, and this fact completely severed Long Aotian's ambitions. How could he not be jealous? How could he not be furious? After Long Chen became sovereign, no one else would be able to become sovereign. This world would be under his control. No matter how great the heavenly genius was, they would be nothing to him. Below the sovereigns were the emperors. There had been three emperors throughout history the Peng Emperor the Blood Emperor, and the Corrupt Emperor. There was also the shameless self-proclaimed Stone Emperor. They were said to be the strongest experts below the Sovereigns. But when compared to the Sovereigns, they still lost their splendor. In this world, no one could compete with a Sovereign. Because once they became a Sovereign, they represented the entire world. Oh, that's right. I forgot that we're on the same side, said Long Chen emotionlessly. Everyone could clearly see the jealousy in Long Aotian's eyes. Although Long Aotian was the one who had the greatest forbearance amongst the five sovereign sprouts of the divine families, his acting skills were only average. He couldn't even compare to Dong Fang Yu Yang in that regard. 
and Long Chen easily saw through his act. From the start, Long Chen had never viewed the divine families as true allies, nor would he entrust his back to them. He, little sister, come over. Sovereign Han Wei suddenly beckoned to the distant Zi Yan with a warm smile. Zi Yan greets the sovereign Zi Yan flew over. Her heart was filled with various emotions. At this moment, her mouth moved a few times, but she didn't voice the question she had. Sovereign Han Wei said, Don't you want to ask me why I look like the ninth divine emissary? Zi Yan nodded. She was truly shaken by the appearance of Sovereign Han Wei. She knew her as the ninth divine emissary. Any historical information about the five sovereigns was extremely muddled. Even the name of the fourth generation sovereign had never been heard before, so no one had expected the fourth generation sovereign to be a woman. He, there's not much time, so I can't say too much to you, but just seeing you makes me content. This era's heir to the southern sea zither is excellent, so I'm at ease. If you wish to know more about me, you can ask Long Chen in the future providing that he doesn't die. Sovereign Han Wei gently brushed Zi Yan's cheek, looking at her like she was her real little sister. In the end, let me just say that I'm truly very happy to see you. Suddenly, Zi Yan was sent out of the core of the heavenly tribulation. She returned to her original location from before she interfered. That's about all the time we have. Let's start. Long Chen, are you ready? Asked Sovereign Zi Yang. Wait a moment said Long Chen hastily. When we start fighting, we won't be able to have mercy on each other. I want to first introduce you to my family. The Dragonblood warriors were already stepping forward. They came to the edge of the heavenly tribulation, and everyone from the Dragonblood Legion had emotional expressions. Those were the five sovereigns. Every single one of them had led an entire era, and they were people who stood at the peak even in legend and myth. Since Long Chen was actually their brother, just how glorious was this? This big brother is Sovereign Yan Shang. He is the first generation. This is Sovereign Qing Shu. You can call him second brother. This is third brother Sovereign Mo Li. This is fourth sister Sovereign Han Wei. And this is fifth brother Sovereign Zi Yang. Introduced Long Chen. Big brother. Second brother. Third brother. Fourth sister. Fifth brother. The Dragonblood warriors cried out enthusiastically. Their eyes were red with emotion. Right now, they clenched their fists, wanting to charge forward. Even if they died right now, they would have no regrets. Sovereign Yun Shang nodded toward them. This is the strongest legion within the Martial Heaven Continent's history. Brothers, sisters, I entrust the Martial Heaven Continent to you. We will fight to the death, shouted Guo Ran. This was his first time being moved to such an extent by anyone other than Long Chen. His hot blood was ignited. The Dragonblood warriors also shouted their own oaths. This was an oath to the sovereigns to protect the Martial Heaven continent with their lives. HMPH. Who cares about the sovereigns? Are they so amazing? The Martial Heaven continent's destiny has come to an end. There is no way for you to fight back. Just at this moment, a cold snort ignited everyone's fury. Aldeville Heavenwalker. Roars of fury rang out. In the face of those furious gazes. The Aldeville Heavenwalker sneered. Just a few dead people are worth making such a fuss over? Today I'll show you that the sovereigns are nothing amazing. Within the same realm, I'm not afraid of anyone. I'll show you how I butcher sovereigns. That's right. Sovereigns? There's nothing so great about them. I'll defeat your sovereigns today to show you despair, said the nine-headed lion. His fury began to glow brightly. The dragon woman, the blood fiend devil lord and Yi Ming added in their own sneers, their aura soaring, boom, the void shuddered and chains shot out, sealing this space, time is up, let me see just how strong the experts from the other worlds are in this era sovereign Han Wei smiled and stepped forward on her own, I'll show you right now, the nine-headed lion roared and charged, his aura explosively grew, are the children of this generation also arrogant sovereign Han Wei frowned slightly, after she plucked the air with a finger, a slender string of light appeared and struck the nine-headed lion. As a result, blood splashed. The nine-headed lion's body was severed at the waist. Chapter 2663 The difference compared to a sovereign what he couldn't even receive a single attack. Shocked cries rang out. It was said by all that sovereigns stood at the peak of the world, and they were unrivaled existences. 
However, the nine-headed lion could be considered the chosen of an entire world as well, having a world's karmic luck supporting him. Due to the sovereigns coming from Long Chen's heavenly tribulation, their cultivation bases were equal. Hence, even if the nine-headed lion was inferior, he should have been able to fight for a while in their opinion. At the very least, he shouldn't be beaten in one move, right? Useless trash. You dare to challenge the sovereigns with that little ability? Did you grow up on crap? You grew so big for nothing. Scolded Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't help being angry at this. These people were supposed to be the crux of whether or not he could smoothly pass this tribulation. He was still counting on them to exhaust a portion of the sovereign's energy. On his own, no number of lives would be enough against all five sovereigns. Furthermore, the sovereigns would definitely not be able to cheat and let him pass this time. At this moment, the nine-headed lion roared. His manifestation burst into existence revealing an entire world that was filled with howling beasts that resonated with him. After that, the manifestation fused back into his body. Along with the roaring of these beasts, his aura grew over ten times greater. With him standing there, the space constantly fractured and twisted, unable to contain his existence. The nine-headed lion finally revealed his terrifying power. His gaze was sharp as he sent a claw at Sovereign Han Wei, as his body had expanded rapidly. Sovereign Han Wei's tender figure appeared incredibly flimsy before him, yet, her expression was still indifferent. When she raised her hand, a figure of light condensed, turning into an arc that struck the nine-headed lion. Even while being backed by the force of an entire world, the nine-headed lion's claw was shattered, shocking him. That claw had contained his full force, but Sovereign Han Wei had effortlessly dispelled it. What kind of time is it for you to still be holding back? It seems that you really look down on us. Fine, I'll go first. Sovereign Han Wei extended her hand. Countless heavenly Daruns condensed into a giant chain that seemed to connect both sides of the world. It rapidly compressed, in the end becoming a thin zither string. With a gentle pluck on that string, heaven and earth resonated, and a thin line of light flew out of the string. This thin line of light sliced through the void, splitting the world and causing it to displace. As the string severed heaven and earth, the sound reached through time. Since this zither string was condensed from the laws, the nine-headed lion instantly felt himself be locked onto by the deos of the world. Feeling shocked, he let out a furious roar, and two of his smaller heads glowed. As a result, two different laws gathered and struck the line of light. Boom. At this moment, the line of light exploded along with the nine-headed lion's two attacks. Unfortunately. The nine-headed lion didn't even have a chance to sigh with relief before another heavenly Dao zither string condensed in front of Sovereign Han Wei. With another pluck of her finger, another line of light slashed toward him. This time the sound was different, but its power was even sharper. After that, the third zither string also manifested and then the fourth and fifth. Not being able to hold back anymore, all eight of the nine-headed lion's miniature heads roared and divine power enveloped his entire body. The millions and millions of beasts within his manifestation roared as well, sending endless power into his body. The very moment he had seen the second zither string, he already had a bad feeling. At that moment, he had wanted to stop her from condensing more zither strings, but no matter how fiercely he attacked, he was repeatedly forced back by Sovereign Han Wei's light attacks. Right now, Sovereign Han Wei took a seat in the sky her hand dancing across the five strings. Zither music filled the air. This was the song of the heavenly deos. It was as if she was a peaceful musician playing the music of the heavenly deos. However, every note unleashed a terrifying attack upon the nine-headed lion, forcing him further and further back. No matter how he counterattacked, he was unable to charge over to Sovereign Han Wei. As the two of them fought, Sovereign Yun Shang, Ching Shu, Mo Li, and Zi Yang also made their moves. They went after the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Aldevil Heaven Walker, the Dragon Woman, and Yi Ming. In the very first clash, the latter group suffered immensely. Half of the Blood Fiend Devil Lord's body was destroyed by a single punch from Sovereign Yun Shang. If he hadn't taken out an ancient divine pagoda at that critical moment to block the next attack, he would have died. This pagoda was a world divine item. 
on the same level as the five supreme divine items of the martial heaven continent. It was called the Blood Soul Pagoda, which contained the will and power of the world. Right now, the Blood Soul Pagoda unleashed all kinds of attacks made of divine light, chains, flying swords, and spears shot out. The power of this world divine item stunned people. With such a divine item protecting you, who could beat you? In comparison to this world divine item, even the Southern Sea Zither, Western Desert Axe, and Northern Source Sword didn't possess such terrifying power. However, people were unaware that the Southern Sea Zither and the Northern Source Sword had yet to formally accept a master, while the Western Desert Axe was still recovering. On the other hand, this Blood Soul Pagoda had accompanied the Blood Fiend Devil Lord as he grew up. It had not only fully accepted him as master, but they had also started to form a resonance, allowing it to unleash terrifying power. However, what shocked people even more than this divine item's power was that no matter how the Blood Soul Pagoda attacked, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord was still forced back by Sovereign Yun Shang. Sovereign Yun Shang was barehanded, but every single one of his movements was incomparably profound. With every attack of his, the void collapsed. The Blood Soul Pagoda was quivering with every exchange. As for Sovereign Ching Shu, he was fighting against the Aldevil Heavenwalker. The latter was rather smart and went all out right from the start with his world divine item, the Heavenly Devil Sword. Endless Devil Chi exploded out of him and his weapon, but he was still suppressed by Sovereign Ching Shu. Ching Shu, you've suppressed my devil world for so many years. Today, I will definitely kill you roared the Aldevil Heavenwalker Novaloon.com however, no matter what he did, no matter how furiously he changed techniques, he was still suppressed, unable to gain any advantage over Sovereign Ching Shu. Chapter 2664 The Martial Heaven Continent is mine Sovereign Mo Li was facing the Dragon Woman. Originally, Long Chen had thought that Sovereign Mo Li would have some mercy on a woman, but his guess was wrong. From the very first move, Sovereign Moli had cut off her leg. Having learned the difference between her and a sovereign, the dragon woman no longer dared to hold back at all. Hence, she summoned an ancestral spirit manifestation. There was an ancient black dragon within the manifestation that she summoned. The dragon roared, giving her power through space and time. With dragon chi swirling around her and dragon patterns weaving beneath her feet, her power soared to an unprecedented level. Right now, Space shuddered intensely, and Long Chen understood why Evil Moon had said that he might be defeated by her back then if she had used her full power. Her power was truly terrifying, worthy of being someone from the powerful Black Dragon race. At this moment, her dragon bone whip struck, causing the laws of space to collapse. Amongst all the battles against the sovereigns, she was the only one able to fight evenly. As for Yi Ming, he was the one doing the worst. Sovereign Zi Yang was pressing him so hard that Ji Ming was constantly coughing up blood. In every exchange, he was knocked further and further back. However, Long Chen noticed that even as he was repeatedly injured, his aura didn't weaken in the slightest. Furthermore, the blood he spat out transformed into black chi and was reabsorbed by his body. Long Chen realized that this was definitely the undying race's divine ability. Even though he was constantly injured, his aura wasn't affected at all. The current Ji Ming was truly strange. Meanwhile, Long Aoshan, Jiang Wachen, and Yi Liangchen were standing in the air, just watching as the intense fights were carried out. They didn't know what they should do. Theoretically, they should help the sovereigns kill these invaders. The Nine-Headed Lion, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, the Dragon Woman, and Yi Ming were all fighting desperately while the five sovereigns were still fighting calmly and at ease. So if they also joined in, it would seem like bullying. Every move of the sovereigns seemed to contain the might of heavenly deos. Each of their techniques and attacks contained a pinnacle essence of the world. They were incomparably marvelous, giving people endless enlightenment. Hence, the three geniuses from the divine families were focused on the techniques of the sovereigns, carefully watching and experiencing them. This was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so they had to cherish it. Outside the core of the tribulation, Mo Nian and the others were also focused on the techniques of the sovereigns. They tried to corroborate their own techniques with the principles behind the sovereigns' movements. At this moment, 
they found out that the sovereign's techniques contained all kinds of deos and laws, including the ones that they had comprehended. If the deos that they had comprehended were like flowing rivers, then the sovereign's deos were giant seas. Just by watching their moves, all of the observers were profiting immensely. Some of the people outside the heavenly tribulation had activated photographic jades, but they found that it really was like the legend said. It was impossible to record the sovereigns, so all the recordings turned blank. Some people even took out brushes and paper, drawing the images of the sovereigns. But after a few strokes, those drawings faded. What is going on? People were disappointed. Who wouldn't want to record an image of the peerless sovereigns? Right now, even people like the Aldevil Heavenwalker and the others that were using their world divine items were suppressed. This scene made people's reverence for the sovereigns grow even greater. What did it mean to stand at the very apex of the martial path? It meant to be a sovereign. Although the Aldevil Heavenwalker and the others were backed by their own worlds, even though they were the greatest heavenly geniuses, they weren't worth much in the face of the sovereigns. Even in the same realm, they were unable to defeat the sovereigns. This was the difference. Sovereigns were undefeatable existences. Perhaps only once you possessed this kind of power would you be able to lead the martial heaven continent against the invading enemies. Boom. Suddenly, the void exploded. The nine-headed lion and sovereign Han Wei clashed in the most explosive exchange up to now, causing everyone to jump. Even the stars in the sky shuddered. The nine-headed lion had ended up so furious that he lost all control. At this moment, all nine of his heads were fully activated to unleash his most terrifying attack which then crushed the heavenly deos. Three of Sovereign Han Wei's five strings snapped, shocking everyone. The nine-headed lion roared and attacked again once her strings were broken. However, halfway there, he almost coughed up a mouthful of blood. The strings that he had just snapped instantly restored with the wave of Sovereign Han Wei's hands. As a result, he was once more blown back by her attacks. This almost caused him to feel despair and go crazy. Sovereign Han Wei was using the Tao as her zither strings. As long as the world was not destroyed, her zither strings were omnipresent. How was he supposed to fight this? Just as he was blown back, he saw someone in the distance who caused him to fume. Smoke came out of his ears. That person was Long Chen. He had lazily taken out a table and even taken out some snacks to eat as he watched the battle. You little fucker. The nine-headed lion cursed furiously. He had come to take the karmic luck, only to become Long Chen's scapegoat. His furious roar instantly drew everyone's attention. Following his gaze, they saw Long Chen's lazy appearance. The descent of the five sovereigns had drawn everyone's attention, causing people to forget about the one actually going through the tribulation, Long Chen. Now seeing him eating and drinking, they were dumbfounded. Did such a person really exist in this world? Long Chen had just taken a bite of food and gulped down a cup of wine when he saw the nine-headed lion glaring at him. He pointed at his food. Are you tired? Do you need some food before fighting some more? Since you're helping me in my tribulation, I don't mind treating you to some food and drink. I will kill you. The nine-headed lion roared. He actually abandoned Sovereign Han Wei and charged at Long Chen. The current nine-headed lion was in an extremely terrifying state. Having managed to snap Sovereign Han Wei's heavenly Dao zither strings, he was definitely in his peak state. At this moment, a claw tore through the void. Boom. Long Chen waved his hand, turning the table and chair instantly to dust. After that, he gulped down another mouthful of the wine, and the wild wine energy ignited like fire. Before drinking the wine, I belonged to the Martial Heaven Continent. After drinking the wine, the Martial Heaven Continent is mine. As Long Chen tossed the wine jug aside, his wild fury caused the heavens to shake. A domineering will exploded. It was like a devil god had descended. At this moment, Long Chen slashed Evil Moon like a black river of stars. Chapter 2665 World Divine Chains The very sky quivered as the furious will of the heavens filled the world. A sign that Long Chen had activated his heaven's wrath state. He then slashed Evil Moon at the nine-headed lion. Boom. Evil Moon met the nine-headed lion's sharp claw head-on. As a result, the entire world shuddered as black and golden light clashed. Black cracks spread throughout the void as if the world was about to shatter. 
Unable to beat big sister Han Wei, you decided to come for me? Do you think that I'm some soft persimmon? Demanded Long Chen furiously. Long Chen suddenly swung his hand, slapping the nine-headed lion's shocked face. His face then split apart, and he coughed up blood. People were shocked by Long Chen's completely different appearance. As his divine ring spun, endless heavenly darun surged toward him. However, this was different from the sovereigns. These runes were not prostrating themselves toward him but quivering in fear. It was as if they sensed a mortal danger and had no choice but to offer all their power to Long Chen, or they would be killed. To survive, they could only submit. What kind of state is that? After advancing to heaven merging, Long Chen's aura has completely transformed. People had never seen Long Chen enter the true heaven's wrath state. This was also Long Chen's first time entering this state so easily. Before this, when he had followed the old man's instructions for the heaven's wrath state, he had used a kind of self-hypnosis to anger himself and enter this state. It was simple and direct. However, that directness made it sudden and not a gradual process. Due to this, his fury instantly reached its peak, which not only caused harm to his own body but also made it impossible for him to unleash the full potential of this technique. However, this time, Long Chen used Tu Kian Chang's domineering wine to activate this state step by step. Because it was gradual, his control over it was much better. My rage is the heaven's rage. The heavens are large. The earth is large. But I am larger. A little lion also dares to look down on me? I'll use your head as my wine cup. Long Chen stepped forward with Evil Moon on his shoulder. Ignorant human, you are courting death. The nine-headed lion roared furiously. This was already his third time being slapped in the face by Long Chen. Hence, all nine of his heads opened at the same time. Nine rays of divine light shot out at the same time before condensing into one single ray. Wherever it went, the void collapsed. This was one of the nine-headed lion race's strongest divine abilities. Even stronger than what he had used against Sovereign Han Wei just now. An insignificant technique. Long Chen swung Evil Moon and a saber image slashed through the air. This was a sudden blow with the ninth form of split the heavens. This was a saber that sliced through all deos, a saber that tore apart the heavens. In the heavens wrath state, Long Chen's attack cleanly cut through the nine-headed lion's strongest divine ability. The saber image cut through the divine light like splitting bamboo before reaching the nine-headed lion. Feeling horrified, the nine-headed lion crossed his claws before him. Blood splashed. His body, which was tougher than a divine item and could easily crush it barehanded, had a grievous wound cut into it, and just as he was injured, Long Chen appeared in front of him, Evil Moon slashed toward his neck, give me your lion head to make a stir fry, startled cries rang out, Long Chen was incredibly powerful and fierce, however, just as they thought that the nine-headed lion's head would fly, sparks flew, and he appeared safe and sound, what at some point, the nine-headed lion became covered in chains. Long Chen's attack struck those chains and was unable to break them. This is world energy. He has drawn out his world's power to support him, said Evil Moon. Die. The nine-headed lion roared and struck with a fist covered in chains. Seeing this, Long Chen snorted and took a step back, avoiding his attack. As a result, his punch caused a large mass of space to collapse, causing everyone to jump. What kind of power was this? Moreover, the collapsed space didn't immediately heal like normal. It was extremely slow, as if some remnant energy made its recovery difficult. Long Chen, you forced me to use my world divine chains. You are the first in this lifetime, and you can die in peace. Golden runes revolved in the nine-headed lion's eyes. At this moment, the golden chains moved around his body like pythons. Everyone was dumbfounded. The nine-headed lion hadn't even taken this out against Sovereign Han Wei. Just how confident was he? Don't lie. Your essence blood is currently running out. These world divine chains should be your final trump card. And you can't keep them up for long before your essence blood runs out. At that time, the quality of your lion head will drop. So I'd rather you just give up so I can get a good quality head. Then I might let you off, said Long Chen. He took out another jug of wine and took a gulp. Ha ha ha, are you an idiot to say such stupid words? 
Or are you so afraid that you need wine to pump up your courage? The nine-headed lion laughed. Idiot. This wine is to control myself. I don't want to accidentally kill you in my anger. That would ruin my plans, said Long Chen disdainfully. Idiot. I can't be bothered to waste words with you. I'll show you the strongest divine ability of the nine-headed lion race. However, before killing you, I'll kill that woman to show everyone that your so-called sovereigns are nothing. If they were born in my era, they would only be accompanying characters the nine-headed lion suddenly stamped on the air, once more causing space to collapse. He shot off toward Sovereign Han Wei. Sovereign Han Wei hadn't interfered with Long Chen's fight with the nine-headed lion. Instead, her gaze was on Zi Yan. The two of them seemed to be communicating. Hence, Sovereign Han Wei frowned when the nine-headed lion returned. Her five zither strings quivered, and killing intent filled the air. The light of all five zither strings slashed toward the nine-headed lion. Insignificant. Watch me break them with my fist. The nine-headed lion sneered. He unleashed a punch that landed on the five strings. In that instant, a power that didn't belong to this world erupted. Boom. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Sovereign Han Wei's five zither strings were all broken. What? Chapter 2666 Heaven String Earth String Sovereign Han Wei's five-string heavenly Dao zither was destroyed just like this. Where did the nine-headed lion get this power from? What dog shit sovereign? You're only at this level, sneered the nine-headed lion. He then unleashed a second punch at Sovereign Han Wei. He's using the power of his world to fight Sovereign Han Wei. A startled cry rang out from a sharp observer. The power being unleashed by the nine-headed lion was completely foreign. It was not part of the martial heaven continent. After the five string zither was destroyed, Sovereign Han Wei's expression finally turned cold. Killing intent exploded within her. You dare to interfere in my transmission of the Tao? You've lived for nothing. Sovereign Han Wei then clapped her hands and Violet Chi exploded. Right away, the five-string heavenly Dao Zither reappeared with another string added to it. As that string manifested, the entire martial heaven sea ring shuddered, and people could feel the power of the earth gathering. After that, yet another string formed and the heavenly Deos rumbled. Everyone could feel the might of the heavens descending, merging with the power of the earth. The five strings became seven strings. In that instant, the entire world seemed to have merged into one body. The seven strings zither represented the heavens, the earth, and everything in between. Sovereign Han Wei's hands rested upon the zither strings, causing heaven and earth to quiver. After that, the martial heaven sea ring beneath their feet exploded, unleashing pillars of water into the heavens. Long Chen's heart pounded. Although he hadn't studied the music Tao, with how long he had known Zi Yan, he had some understanding of it. Legend had it that the zither was the first musical instrument ever born. The five-string zither was the most primitive zither. The five-string zither had five notes, which represented the five elements, metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. The person who created this zither was called the zither ancestor, someone who had managed to condense the music of heaven and earth into an instrument. As music filled the world, emotions began to sublimate. The Tao of music was born at this time. While some said that the zither was the earliest musical instrument, others argued that the bell came first. However, the ancient records about the bell showed that it was always used in battle, something to push people to fight and transmit orders on the battlefield. It was filled with the feel of slaughter and bloodiness. As a result, the other side argued it should not be viewed as a musical instrument, since that was the case. All those who cultivated the music da revered the zither as the first musical instrument. The five-string zither had continued in that state for who knew how long until a grand master of the music Tao one day comprehended the essence of heaven and earth and added another string to the zither, turning it into the six-string zither. After obtaining another note, the six-string zither was more mellow and well-rounded. It contained endless variations and thrumming vitality. It was like spring had returned to the earth nourishing all life. All in all, the appearance of the six-string zither enriched the music Tao and brought forth countless streams of thought. After another unknown number of years, another grand master appeared, adding another string, turning it into the seven-string zither. The addition of this string caused the zither music to change once more. At that moment, music resonated throughout heaven and earth, 
and this resonance allowed one to control the Tao. By using the music Tao to reach the heavenly Deos, it opened a gate to becoming one with the heavens. Cultivators could then live as long as the heavens and earth, becoming immortal. After that invention, countless geniuses of the music Tao appeared. They were like budding leaves, and all kinds of instruments followed, all manifesting their own Deos. However, no matter how startling the geniuses were, they were never able to add another string to the seven string zither. As a result, the seven string zither became settled, with no one capable of changing it. It was only when the third generation zither ancestor added the third string that it was understood that the first five strings represented the five elements, the five faces of philosophy, the five organs, the five virtues, the five spiritual beasts, etc. They contained the principles of the foundation of the world. The string that the second generation zither ancestor added was called the earth string. It contained all things within the earth. With this string, all things had a foundation, giving the music even greater spirituality. As for the third generation zither ancestor, the string that they added was called the heaven string. It was what correlated with the earth string. If the earth gave rise to all life, then it was the laws of the heavenly deos that added restrictions, balancing it. Only then could each individual give birth to their own deos. The heaven string and the earth string complemented each other, while the five strings evolved within their parallels. From then on, there was no start nor end, no outside and inside. There was simply the Tao. As a result, no one else, no matter how talented, was capable of changing the seven string zither. It was the ultimate form of the zither. When Sovereign Hanwei seven string zither appeared, it caused the heavens, the earth, and all deos in between to resonate. These seven strings represented the entire world. As Sovereign Hanwei's hand touched the sixth string, the earth string, the martial heaven sea ring exploded. After that, a blade of space slashed out from down below, cutting apart the martial heaven sea ring to strike the nine-headed lion. Seeing this scene, the nine-headed lion roared and smashed his fist downward. However, he was like a bug striking a heavenly blade. The chains covering his body shattered, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood, his body badly mangled. Just at this moment, the heaven string twanged. An invisible blade sliced apart the heavens toward the nine-headed lion. Right now, the nine-headed lion's soul almost fled out of terror. His world divine chains had been broken, and he had no time to restore them. If he was struck by the heavenly blade, not even a hundred lives would be enough. Just as he felt regret about deciding to target Sovereign Han Wei instead of properly fighting Long Chen, the void rumbled. A giant heavenly gate opened. However, this was not the heavenly gate of the tribulation but a different gate. Right now, the energy of a completely different world poured out of it, surging toward the nine-headed lion. Boom! The heavenly blade struck the nine-headed lion and he smashed into the sea like a meteorite. Countless corpses flew out of the sea from the impact. Those corpses belonged to the sea demon race. Sovereign Han Wei's earth string attack had destroyed quite a few formations that the sea demon race had set up at the depths of the sea. These layers of defenses had been set up by the sea demon experts to block Long Chen's tribulation. They were on high alert to prevent him from attacking. However, they hadn't expected Sovereign Han Wei's attack to end up implicating them. Anything that Blade of the Earth had passed was destroyed. Furthermore, the Heavenly Blade continued to cleave the Martial Heaven Sea Ring after striking the Nine-Headed Lion, killing even more experts of the Sea Demon race. At this moment, Gu Yang and the others sent people to gather those corpses. Long Chen had previously told them that he needed a large number of corpses. Hence, all the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance were mobilized. Suddenly, the sea exploded and the nine-headed lion reappeared. His eyes were scarlet and he was covered in blood. However, his world divine chains had condensed once more, and his aura was even stronger than before. At that critical moment, he had had no choice but to open the gate to his world to support his world divine chains. Otherwise, Sovereign Han Wei's attack would have taken his life. When he flew out of the sea, he looked at Sovereign Han Wei and then at Long Chen. After that, with a furious roar, he charged at Long Chen. It seemed that of the two, he felt that Long Chen was a bit easier. Fuck, you're treating me as a soft persimmon. 
Long Chen's fury instantly exploded. Chapter 2667 Forced to detonate Evil Moon. Little Heaven. Linger. I entrust myself to you. Today. I want to kill that foolish lion. Having been treated as an easy target twice. In the Heaven's Wrath state. Long Chen was particularly enraged. How could he possibly endure the nine-headed lion choosing to vent his anger on him since he couldn't beat Sovereign Han Wei? An explosive sound rang out within Long Chen's body. His 108,000 stars quivered, and the laws of heaven and earth were sucked into his divine ring. At this moment, the energy of the world had no choice but to submit to Long Chen, not daring to resist. As that energy poured into him, he slashed his saber at the nine-headed lion. Long Chen's saber slashed onto the nine-headed lion's chain-covered fist. As a result, those chains shattered once more. What the nine-headed lion was shocked. Although had opened the world gate to boost his chains with its energy, his chains were still shattered. You shameless idiot. Long Chen's other hand slapped the nine-headed lion's face once again. The sound of bones breaking rang out as half his face broke. It was another face slap, which was almost identical to the previous ones. However, the nine-headed lion was unable to dodge it no matter what. Do you think that I'm a soft persimmon? bellowed Long Chen. He appeared like a furious heavenly deity and chased after the nine-headed lion. Countless black images were shooting out of Evil Moon. Long Chen unleashed 81 slashes in one go, causing the nine-headed lion to roar furiously as he was repeatedly forced back. His chains were constantly destroyed. The final blow then sliced through his claws and left a wound on his chest. Impossible. What kind of power is this? The nine-headed lion found this inconceivable. Long Chen wasn't a sovereign but was still able to use the world's power? It had to be known that such a thing was only possible for one chosen individual within any world. The reason he chose not to fight Sovereign Han Wei any longer was because her attacks contained the power of the world. They represented the laws of the Martial Heaven continent. As this was not his own world, bringing his world's energy here was more difficult than for her to summon her world's energy. The five sovereigns all possessed the ability to control this world's energy. As Long Chen was not one of them, it should be impossible for him to utilize the world's energy. However, it still happened. Otherwise, there was no way he could break the nine-headed lion's world divine chains. What the nine-headed lion didn't know was that Long Chen had no need for the world's approval. His ability to control the world's power came from being in the heaven's wrath state, forcing the world to submit its power to him. Although this kind of forceful command of world energy was not as powerful, it was still able to counter the energy of a different world. Adding on his own power, Long Chen was capable of dominating the nine-headed lion. The nine-headed lion was still in the midst of roaring in disbelief over this when Long Chen's saber sliced toward his neck. He instinctively dodged, resulting in Long Chen's waiting hand to slap him in the face once more. This slap was different from the previous slaps because it was even more refined. It was as if Long Chen had just casually swung his hand, and the nine-headed lion's face had simply thrown itself toward it. As a result, the nine-headed lion coughed up blood, his head dizzy. At this short range, he suddenly thrust his claws in front of him, catching Long Chen's shoulders. Everyone let out a startled cry. What just happened? Why did Long Chen not dodge? With Long Chen's combat skills, how could he be caught? Long Chen's eyes are red. What's going on with him? Shouted someone. The current Long Chen was completely different from his usual indifferent coolness. His eyes were red like a wild devil. Even the nine-headed lion was surprised to have caught Long Chen. He had just blindly thrust his arms in front of him to force Long Chen back. Hence, feeling delighted, he put power into his claws, wanting to tear Long Chen to pieces. Sparks flew out where his claws met Long Chen's shoulders. However, his sharp claws, which were strong enough to slice apart stars, were unable to slice through Long Chen. They only damaged some of his dragon scales and caused some bleeding. Just at this moment, Long Chen reached out and grabbed two of the nine-headed lion's miniature heads. After that, an irresistible power pulled his head down, and all he saw was a knee rapidly growing larger in his vision cutting off everything else. Long Chen's knee ruthlessly slammed into the nine-headed lion's nose, and a crisp bone-breaking sound rang out. There was also something slimy flying out along with some blood. It seemed to be snot. 
Who's a soft persimmon? Bang. Who's a soft persimmon? Bang. Who's a soft persimmon? Bang. Long Chen roared furiously, emphasizing his point every time with a knee to the face. Everyone clearly saw blood spurting out of the nine-headed lion's nose, mouth, and ears. Even his other eight miniature faces were spurting out blood. Long Chen's vicious appearance gave people chills. Even though the nine-headed lion was a hated enemy, they couldn't help feeling sympathetic to his current plight. The nine-headed lion clawed Long Chen's shoulders, leaving countless cuts on Long Chen's body, but Long Chen didn't seem to feel any pain. He just continued to crazily smash his knee into the nine-headed lion's face. Suddenly, the nine-headed lion's blood chi erupted, and his body grew explosively. Long Chen was no longer able to keep a hold of his head in this state. At this moment, golden light filled the sky. He was like a blazing sun, so bright that people couldn't stare directly at him. A giant, golden nine-headed lion now appeared in front of everyone. It was because summoning his true body was the only way to escape Long Chen. At this moment, a divine mark lit up on all nine of his giant heads. The nine heads opened their mouths at the same time, and divine light shot out of all nine heads. They were like giant light bombs possessing the power to destroy heaven and earth. Just as this terrifying attack was brewing, Long Chen hacked Evil Moon, striking one of the heads like a bolt of lightning and severing it. The instant one of the heads was severed, the nine-headed lion's body began to rapidly inflate. His aura also became unstable. Not good. He's detonating, shouted Evil Moon. Chapter 2668 Nine dragons devour the heavens diagram How can that be? Even in the heavens wrath state. Long Chen was startled by Evil Moon's warning. How could the nine-headed lion self-detonate? However, his aura was truly fluctuating chaotically. It was clearly a sign of self-detonation. Hence, Long Chen had no choice but to retreat. At such a close range, such a detonation would definitely take half his life at the minimum. The nine-headed lion was also panicking. Countless chains glowed around him as he seemingly tried to control himself. But he was no longer in control. You cut off one of his heads in the middle of his attack, causing his energy to become imbalanced. All the explosive power that he was gathering is now out of control. He's about to end up conning himself to death. The power of his attack surpasses his control now, said Evil Moon. Evil Moon saw it clearly. The nine-headed lion had actually used a forbidden technique due to having taken a beating from Long Chen. However, he had forgotten that he was facing Long Chen. Long Chen wouldn't just sit there and let him unleash such a powerful technique. Cutting off his head might not impact him much at a normal time, but now it would cost him his life. Save me. The nine-headed lion roared as his body swelled. He was like a balloon. His essence blood ignited, on the verge of exploding. Seeing his current state, everyone jumped in shock. This had come far too suddenly. He had just been arrogantly cursing, but now he was on the verge of death. All of a sudden, the gate to his world blew open. After that, a hand reached out and grabbed the nine-headed lion. The master of this hand was intent on saving him. Long Chen then slashed the hand, only for his saber image to be blown apart. He was also impacted and almost coughed up blood. This is the full power of the world. That is their world's strongest expert, exclaimed Evil Moon. That hand grabbed the inflating nine-headed lion and dragged him into the world gate, which then slammed shut. The nine-headed lion was gone. If I had known this would happen, I would have used the ninth form of split the heavens. Long Chen clenched his teeth angrily. You should conserve your energy. If you had killed him, you would die to your tribulation, warned Evil Moon. The current Long Chen was still in the midst of his tribulation. He could not be careless. The nine-headed lion had been brought away. But suddenly, Sovereign Han Wei pressed her zither strings. Divine music once more caused heaven and earth to rumble. Long Chen followed Sovereign Han Wei's gaze. Her attention was on Long Aoshan, Yi Liang Chen, and Jiang Wachen. The divine family Sovereign Han Wei's mouth curled into a strange smile. It seemed to contain some disdain and thought. With a touch of her finger, the void around the three of them exploded. As a result, Yi Liang Chen and Jiang Wachen both coughed up a mouthful of blood. The fragments of spastime around them battered their bodies. As for Long Aoshan, he let out a cry and smashed the void with his fist. 
A diagram with nine dragons in it appeared behind him. The nine dragon tails were pointed to the outside, while the heads were facing the center, with long Aotian at the core. Dragon Chi circulated within this diagram Noveloon.com everyone was startled. This was their first time seeing Long Aotian's manifestation. Dragon cries rang out, resonating with heaven and earth. It's the 11th rank divine manifestation. Nine dragons roar at the heavens, exclaimed Daoist Heavenly Feather in shock, unable to believe her eyes. No, it's not the nine dragons roar at the heavens. You can see the black aura around their teeth said the high priest gravely. The high priest was always a calm person, and he had never had such a serious expression. Could it be? Daoist Heavenly Feather's expression changed. Yes, it's the third rank divine manifestation. Nine dragons devour the heavens diagram. Impossible. This world can't produce a divine manifestation in the top 18 ranks. That's a set law of the heavenly Daos. Even in the immortal era, such a thing has never occurred cried Daoist Heavenly Feather. That is true. Such a thing has never happened. Never before has there been nine dragons devouring the heavens. But we are seeing it right now. Sighed the High Priest. Boom. Just at this moment, Long Aotian unleashed a second punch. Shattering the sky. This was his second time blocking Sovereign Hanwei's attack. Everyone was stunned. And even Long Chen's heart was pounding hard. Long Chen felt an intensely dangerous feeling from the nine dragons devouring the heavens diagram. Evil Moon, what is going on? Asked Long Chen. That's the heaven devouring underworld dragon. It's the only member of the dragon race whose devouring power surpasses my dark evil dragon race. We can devour all living things and digest flesh and blood. But the heaven devouring underworld dragon can devour and turn anything to nothing. Furthermore. Those nine heaven-devouring underworld dragons in his manifestation are not ordinary ones. They are young dragons with the souls of the dragons in them. As he grows, the dragons will grow with him. In other words, his manifestation will continuously grow stronger as his cultivation base advances. Long Chen, you have to be careful. This fellow is definitely a powerful opponent. He poses a lethal danger to you, said Evil Moon heavily. Long Chen's heart shook. Long Aotian had truly hidden himself deeply, so he was the most terrifying of the divine family's sovereign sprouts. Furthermore, he had even managed to escape Long Chen's senses. Almost no one had ever been able to escape the senses of the Nine Star Hegemon body art, but Long Aotian had managed to do so. Thinking about it, it was very likely related to his manifestation. Those nine heaven devouring underworld dragons were capable of hiding his aura. When Long Chen glanced toward the divine families, he noticed that they were in an uproar. It seemed that even the divine families had not known about Long Aotian's manifestation. Long Chen looked toward the dragon blood legion. When his eyes locked with Xia Chen, he then rubbed his ear. Xia Chen immediately understood and secretly set up a formation. Long Chen then heard the Yi family head darkly saying, The Long family really hid themselves well. You even tricked us. It seems that your long family is thinking of reclaiming the throne? Do you think the other three families will submit? Shouldn't the long family give my Zhao family an explanation? If Long Aotian had such power, why didn't he save Rishan back then? Demanded the Zhao family head, her eyes red with fury. She didn't care even if the Lord Venerate was here. Chapter 2669 The Terrifying Long Aotian What is there to explain? We didn't know about Aotian's matters either. We never asked. Sneered the Long family head. What bullsh tea. Your Long family just watched as others died. Raged the Zhao family head. The Zhao family head's roaring drew quite a bit of attention. People stared at them in shock. What was going on with the divine families? Why were they suddenly fighting? If you want to think that way, it's up to you. Responded the Long family head. Completely brushing her off. The power that Long Aotian was currently displaying was truly stunning. Even Sovereign Hanwei's attacks were blocked. When Long Chen had killed Jarishan back then, if Long Aotian hadn't hidden his power, he definitely would have had a high chance of saving him. However, Long Aotian hadn't done so. The Zhao family head's face was twitching from anger. Her finger shook as she pointed at the Long family head, cursing. The Long family's people are all treacherous and sinister. 
You deserve almost being slaughtered back then. At this moment, a flash of comprehension struck her. No wonder. So your long family ended up like that because of Long Aotian. Shut up. The Lord Venerate suddenly shouted, preventing her from going any further. That matter is taboo. Anyone who mentions it will be executed. The Zhao family head's expression sank, but she shut her mouth. What? If you don't like it, go complain to the Lord Saint. What's the point of you fighting here like this? Barked the Lord Venerate. The Zhao family head was silent, her expression ugly. After that, the Long family head glanced at her disdainfully for a moment before ignoring her. His focus was on Long Aotian. Right now, zither music rang out through the air, and the void was constantly destroyed. Invisible threads weaved through the air, slicing apart the void and causing it to displace. As the nine dragons devour the heavens diagram behind Long Aotian trembled, a nine dragon mark appeared on his fists. With every smash of his fists, the void would shatter, dispelling Sovereign Hanwei's attacks. Everyone was stunned. So Long Aotian was actually the strongest one here. Sovereign Hanwei had already summoned the seven-string heavenly Dao Zither, but Long Aotian was still able to match her. Nine dragons devour the heavens diagram? HMPH. Completely impure and unrefined. It's not always the case that more is better, especially when it comes to things that aren't yours, snorted Sovereign Han Wei. Long Aotian's expression twitched before returning to normal. He indifferently said, the Sovereign's words are correct. However, the world is full of marvels. At the peak of the Tao, it becomes possible to become an immortal or god. Since the Martial Heaven continent is just a drop in the ocean compared to the vast universe, how can a sovereign deny my Tao? Countless people were enraged by his arrogance toward the sovereigns. Although they were said flatly, it was clearly mocking. He was saying that the sovereigns had spent a lifetime protecting the Martial Heaven continent and hadn't gone on to further lands, as if they were frogs at the bottom of a well. Even a speck of the divine world dares to be so arrogant? Even if you control the third rank manifestation of the 36 divine manifestations. So what? Wasn't that birthed by an immortal sprout? How highly could it possibly agree with you? Your spirit root is completely muddled. Your spirit blood is impure. And your spirit bone was mutated afterward. Forcibly changing your talent unnaturally has completely overdone any of your original talents. To steal innate fortune and turn it into acquired power is a heretical path that does not accord with the heavens. Tell me, how long can you maintain this nine dragons devour the heavens diagram? If you come out to play, you'll have to pay the price sooner or later, said Sovereign Han Wei coldly. Right now, divine light shone from her eyes, and the temperature plummeted as dense killing intent solidified. As a result, a bone-chilling iciness crept into everyone's souls making them involuntarily shiver. An intense feeling of death hung in the air. It felt like every breath was another step closer to death. As people shivered, they were also startled. Sovereign Han Wei's anger and killing intent toward Long Aotian surpassed what she had shown for the invading experts. Shut up. I, Long Aotian, have never submitted to anyone. So what if you're a sovereign? Today, I'll break your undefeatable myth, roared Long Aotian furiously. Sovereign Han Wei's words had touched upon his taboo. He was also shocked that all his secrets were exposed in front of her. Long Aotian charged toward Sovereign Han Wei, the divine diagram behind him revolving. The Deus of Heaven and Earth formed a giant cyclone behind him. I can't feel Heavenly Tao energy any longer. In that instant, the world's Heavenly Tao energy seemed to have been sucked dry. A golden spear appeared in Long Aotian's hand. Nine dragons were carved into it. Immortal Chi rose out of it. This was an aura that others had never felt before. Is this a legendary immortal weapon? Stunned cries rang out. The aura of that spear was completely different from the weapons of the Martial Heaven Continent. It was even completely different from the world divine items of the Blood Fiend Devil Lord and the Aldevil Heaven Walker. That aura seemed to supersede the Deus of this world. The dragon carvings on the spear began to resonate with the manifestation behind Long Aotian. Dragon roars rang out. With the thrust of his spear, the world fell silent, as if all sound had been sucked away. So what if you have a divine weapon of the immortal world? Sovereign Han Wei snorted. She plucked the heaven string of her zither, unleashing a ray of divine light. Boom. 
the divine light exploded on contact, causing Long Aotian to shake. However, with a flick of his spear, he once more shot toward Sovereign Han Wei. The heaven string refers to only the heavens of the Martial Heaven Continent, but the Martial Heaven Continent is nothing more than a stepping stone for me. My future lies in even higher worlds. You think you can use this world's laws to restrict me? Keep dreaming. Long Aotian's words were extremely wild, almost in a deranged way, but his power was truly stunning. Just before this, the Heaven String's attack had almost killed the Nine-Headed Lion in one blow, but Long Aotian had easily blocked it. I don't dislike arrogant people, because everyone who acts arrogant in front of me gets killed by me. However, I really dislike your arrogance, because you harmed the person that I like the most. So I will kill you today. Sovereign Han Wei's zither suddenly shrank, transforming into a nine-foot ancient zither. When that zither appeared, everyone was startled. The Southern Sea Zither Chapter 2670 Heaven Slaughtering God Slaying Song The strings of the heavenly deos shrank, transforming into an ancient seven-string zither that was identical to Zi Yan's Southern Sea Zither. When the Southern Sea Zither appeared, zither music immediately resounded throughout the world. The entire world became covered in a murderous aura. At this moment, Sovereign Han Wei suddenly grabbed the Southern Sea Zither and used it as a weapon, swinging it at Long Aotian. Boom! The Dragon Spear and the Ancient Zither collided, while black lightning exploded in an apocalyptic scene. Looking at this battle, people felt their hearts clench, as if an invisible hand was tightly squeezing them. They almost coughed up blood. A Sovereign is only on this level said Long Aotian as he continued pressing on with his spear. Sovereign Han Wei's expression was icy. She held the southern sea zither in one hand, as she formed seals with the other hand. Seeing those seals, Zi Yan muttered unconsciously to herself. Three, two, one. Suddenly, the zither strings shook. Red, orange, yellow, green, azure, blue, and violet light exploded out of it, and an irresistible force blasted Long Aotian back. The void behind him crumbled into a giant black hole that sucked him inside. The Divine Family's experts cried out in shock. That black hole was a crack in the world, and anyone sucked inside would be ground to bits. Chains shot out of Long Aotian's manifestation, locking him to the world. He forcibly pulled himself out of the black hole. Having just escaped from death, Long Aotian was shocked and infuriated. If he had reacted the slightest bit slower and been drawn deeper inside, there would have been no way for him to return. The line between life and death had been incredibly thin for him just now. At this moment, a rainbow appeared behind Sovereign Han Wei. It was incredibly dazzling and beautiful, but others were unable to feel its beauty. Instead, they felt terror. The aura of that rainbow was icy cold, and it contained boundless killing intent. It was as if that rainbow was made of countless lives. Little Sister Zi Yan, watch closely. This is the technique your big sister came up with. The heaven slaughtering god slaying song. I will transmit it to you today. Sovereign Han Wei was like an icy killing goddess. Every single one of her words dripped with killing intent. Just hearing her made people feel like the fire of their souls would extinguish. Suddenly, Sovereign Han Wei slammed her hand on the zither with no finger technique to speak of. It was just like a furious slam of her palm. At this moment. Ripples burst out of the zither. The ripples were like a heaven-slaying sword. Everywhere they went, laws and deos crumbled, while space and time fragmented. Nine dragons devour the heaven's attack. Long Aotian roared along with the nine dragons behind him. His dragon spear erupted with divine light, stabbing forward. Boom. As the power of the spear was blasted apart, Long Aotian's body shuddered intensely like he was struck by lightning. He then fell back. Hacking up blood. This full power attack contained the power to wipe out the heavens and destroy the earth. The killing intent it contained was shocking, and all life had to lower its head toward it. It was an unblockable attack noveloon.com The music of the Grand Dao had been transformed into a musical blade that struck the sea, causing it to explode. It left a giant cut that allowed people to see the bottom of the sea, the layers of formations at the bottom as well as the looks of despair from the sea demons within the formations. At this moment, countless formations blew apart, and the sea demons inside were wiped out of existence. 
The sea demons that were further away from the center were not touched by the blade, and yet they stiffened and floated onto the surface. While they appeared uninjured, their souls had been wiped out. Sovereign Han Wei's attack had overturned the sea. She had not only forced back Long A Ocean, but she had also killed innumerable sea demons. Hence, countless corpses floated onto the surface of the sea. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples once more got to work on gathering them. The bottom of the sea became busy as they saw sea demons supporting the formations, trying to prevent the power of Sovereign Han Wei's attack from spreading any further. Those are heaven merging experts. Suddenly, startled cries rang out. From the crack in the sea, it was possible to see tens of thousands of sea demons at work, and they were all heaven merging existences. No wonder they dared to so openly take Long Chen's karmic luck pearl. They have that power. Now people understood why the dragon woman would undergo her tribulation here. It was because the entire sea demon race was supporting her. It truly is a case of courting death. The five sovereigns have descended upon the territory of the sea demon race, locking down this entire region of the sea. They can't even leave this place. With a few more blows from Sovereign Han Wei, they'll be wiped out. The fact that the dragon woman had stolen Long Chen's karmic luck pearl infuriated countless people. Hence, now that the sea demon race was suffering, they felt only delight in their misfortune. Even though Sovereign Han Wei had dealt such a serious blow to them, the sea demons didn't dare to retaliate. If they did, they would be sensed by the heavenly deos and be viewed as people undergoing tribulation. Then they would be wiped out. At this moment, Sovereign Han Wei's zither quivered and flipped through the air. Heaven and earth flipped along with it, causing everyone to cry out in shock. The world had suddenly flipped. The seawater began to fall. They were unable to tell what was up or down, left or right. As a matter of fact, countless people even coughed up blood. The laws of the heavenly deos had been inverted by this attack. The ancient zither then flipped toward Long A Ocean, due to the world flipping as well. He was flying toward the ancient zither. Upon seeing this zither that contained a will to destroy heaven and earth, Long Aeotian's expression changed. He was finally experiencing how terrifying a sovereign was, realizing that Sovereign Han Wei's fight with the nine-headed lion had been like toying with a monkey. Now that she was using her full power, his soul quivered, and a strong feeling of death filled his heart. If he couldn't block this attack, he would die. Long Aeotian clenched his teeth. At this moment, the pit of his stomach suddenly glowed. Long Aeotian's essence, chi, and spirit instantly condensed into one, and a ray of lightning light shot out, striking the zither. When that divine light appeared, Long Chen's eyes were filled with killing intent. His body involuntarily quivered. Chapter 2671 The strongest spirit bone When that light appeared at the pit of Long Aeotian's stomach, every single expert present felt an ache in their bones. A supreme, unequaled aura suppressed everyone. In the face of that aura, people felt absolute suppression and fear. The strongest spirit bone amongst spirit bones. A supreme spirit bone. A startled cry rang out. When Long A Ocean activated his spirit bone, people immediately recognized that legendary aura the heavens had three treasures. The sun, the moon, and the stars. People had three treasures. The essence, the chi, and the spirit. Those corresponded to the spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. The spirit root was something essentially everyone had, but its quality differed. Many cultivators had some degree of spirit blood, but only a small portion of people was qualified to activate it. Furthermore, even if they could activate it, the spirit blood could be differentiated between innate and acquired. The former was inherited from ancestors, while the latter was cultivated by the self on the other hand. Spirit bones were so rare that not even one in a million cultivators might have one. Those who had spirit bones were true geniuses amongst geniuses most spirit bones were naturally formed. Although they could be awakened after birth, the price for such a thing was immense. For example, the divine bones that Long Chen had obtained in the 10,000 dragon nest could be used to awaken a spirit bone after birth however, such treasures were incredibly rare. That was why there was an old phrase in the cultivation world. The spirit bone was something you had at birth or something you would never have. Spirit bones were simply too difficult to obtain. Even for supreme sects or giant clans, endless manpower could be invested into such an endeavor. 
only to fail. The spirit bone was what connected the chi and spirit. Only when all three existed could it give birth to endless possibilities. A reflection of the principle that the Tao birthed one, one birthed two, two birthed three, and three birthed all things as the Tao foundation of a person. In the ancient era, the spirit bone was even called the immortal seed, the crux for becoming an immortal or god. Someone with a spirit bone was guaranteed to become a god or immortal as long as they didn't die midway. There were also many kinds of spirit bones. There were metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, dark, annihilation, devouring, and other powers. However, one spirit bone could only possess one kind of energy amongst all those spirit bones though. There was one kind that transcended that restriction. It contained all manifestations of the world. Such a spirit bone was called the supreme spirit bone. The strongest of all spirit bones. Something that stood at the very apex boom the divine light smashed into the ancient zither. Shaking the world. As a result, countless experts felt their bodies be viciously wrung. And they coughed up blood. Turning pale with terror that attack had contained a supreme will. It was not just a clash of laws but also a clash of wills. Hence. Everyone felt like their souls had been damaged a vein throbbed in Long Chen's forehead, and killing intent boiled in his eyes. He was involuntarily quivering that aura was incredibly familiar to him. That supreme bone was his. It was a bare cruel hand that had extracted it from his body moreover. Long Chen not only sensed the supreme bone, but he also saw a rainbow divine light. That divine light was his supreme spirit blood, one containing all the manifestations of the world. Ha ha ha, the dragon roars at the heavens, looking down arrogantly on the mortal world of dust. My son Long Chen possesses a special spirit root, a divine spirit bone, and supreme spirit blood. He'll definitely become a peak figure above the nine heavens, one who will arrogantly look down on all else. Ha ha ha, that clear and domineering laughter seemed to ring out in Long Chen's mind once more. He had seen a portion of this scene with the help of Future Lake in the eastern wasteland at that time. His cultivation base was still low, allowing him to look back at a fragment in time. But as his cultivation base grew, it became impossible to even catch a glimpse of his past however. Long Chen was puzzled on one point. He had a divine spirit bone, but in Long Aotian's hands, that innate divine spirit was gone, which turned it into the supreme bone regardless. They were all his. Long Aotian had stolen his everything. Long Chen, control yourself. Sovereign Han Wei is doing this to help you uncover the mystery. You know him, but he doesn't know you yet. That's an advantageous position for you. If you can't endure, Sovereign Han Wei's efforts will be wasted. Furthermore, you're still in the middle of your tribulation. Every bit of energy you save is a bit more chance you have of passing. Shouted Evil Moon. Afraid of Long Chen going berserk it was extremely likely that Sovereign Han Wei was doing this for Long Chen, forcing Long Aotian to reveal his trump cards. If Long Chen went crazy, it wouldn't be worth it. Evil Moon, you aren't me. You don't understand. If I could still endure at this point, I wouldn't be Long Chen. Long Chen suddenly took a step, vanishing the void rumbled. Sovereign Han Wei's ancient zither exploded along with Long Aotian's divine light. Moreover. Sovereign Han Wei was actually sent flying back. What? The Sovereign was defeated. Is Long Aotian stronger than a Sovereign? Everyone was stunned by this result. Long Aotian was absolutely terrifying. This attack using his supreme bone shook heaven and earth. Long Aotian truly is powerful. However, he's not necessarily stronger than a Sovereign. Said someone else why? Is that Long Aotian has a body of flesh but... The sovereigns are nothing more than projections created by the heavens. They have no physical bodies. The sovereigns also have spirit bones. But the sovereigns that have manifested here are unable to utilize the same force of condensing their essence, chi, and spirit. However, I do have to admit that Long Aotian might be the strongest existence below a sovereign. Sighed that person what? About Long Chen most. Likely that. Person shook his head. Long Aotian was simply too powerful. With the appearance of a supreme bone, other than the sovereigns, no one could compete against him boom just at this moment. The void exploded and rainbow light blazed. The nine dragons devour the heavens diagram behind Long Aotian had become rainbow colored. The nine dragons were all different colors. 
and Blood Chi erupted from them as if they were alive. I hereby announce that I, Long Aotian, am the sixth generation sovereign. Starting today, follow me and prosper, defy me and die, roared Long Aotian Novaloon Kam. The current Long Aotian had used his spirit blood to activate as nine dragons devour the heavens diagram. His blood chi shook everyone. You aren't a sovereign. You will only be one of the souls that die to my blade. An icy voice rang out within the thundering dragon roar. That was a voice that seemed to come from the depths of hell at this moment. A figure was reflected in people's shocked eyes. It was a black figure with killing intent that shook the heavens. Long Chen had appeared in front of Long Aotian. Chapter 2672 The number one genius in 10,000 years Everyone found it very unexpected that Long Chen would block Long Aotian. Were they not on the same side furthermore? This tribulation was Long Chen's. And Long Aotian was handling Sovereign Han Wei. Was that not helping him? Why would Long Chen face Long Aotian with such soaring killing intent? Moreover, his black eye seemed to contain endless fury. Even Chu Yao and the others jumped in shock. They had never seen Long Chen so angry that his aura appeared for in Long Aotian's expression turned cold. Long Chen, know what's good for you. In front of me, you are nothing. That power that you are so proud of isn't worth crap to me. If it weren't for the family head's orders, I'd have killed you. If you continue like this, don't blame me for going against those orders and killing you. Long Aotian had endured all this time due to the Long family. He hadn't attacked Long Chen now that he was in his peak condition. He no longer wished to endure. Hence, this was his final warning to Long Chen, as well as his warning to the world. Starting today, no one could defy him. Long Chen, what are you doing? Aotian is helping you, shouted the Long Deputy Elder. Only Elder Long continued watching amongst the crowd calmly, as if everything was within his expectations. What am I doing? Long Chen suddenly raised his hand and laughed, his laugh full of resentment and killing intent. I'm going to take what belongs to me. Do you old fellows know how Long Aotian's divine spirit bone came about? The senior members of the Long family reacted badly to Long Chen's words. The Lord Venerate also stared at him in shock. You, the Long family head, the heaven executioner, and the other higher-ups were all stunned, their hearts pounding. Impossible. Didn't we do multiple tests? He can't be that child, exclaimed the Long family head. Things fell deathly silent. Even Sovereign Yun Shang, Ching Shu, Mo Li, and Zi Yang ceased fighting right now. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Aldevil Heaven Walker, the Dragon Woman, and Yi Ming were covered in blood, having been forced to use their full power just to survive against the sovereigns. Although they finally had a chance to breathe. They couldn't relax because they were still in the heavenly tribulation. One mistake and they would die in an instant. Everyone inside and outside the tribulation was silent. Almost everyone was confused, not knowing what was going on. From the expressions of the Divine Family senior experts, they knew that something unthinkable had happened. Even Long Aotian stared at Long Chen in shock. He was aware of what Long Chen was talking about. Long Chen icily said, I bet you never thought that the baby from back then is still alive. When I was a baby, you were the ones who took my mutated spirit root, divine spirit bone, and supreme blood. You placed them in Long Aotian's body. What? Did you think that the unthinkable crimes that you've done would be covered up forever? Ah. Meng Chi suddenly cried out. She thought of the trial from the branch of the Zhuanshan Dao sect back in the eastern wasteland. She had also witnessed that cruel scene having understood the situation. Even the peaceful Meng Chi grew furious at Long Aotian. She wished to tear him into a million pieces. Long Chen is also surnamed Long. Is he from the divine family's Long family? Suspicions and questions began to pop into the heads of the martial heaven continent's experts. Most likely. If not, how could a little secular nation in the eastern wasteland give birth to such a terrifying expert? Mutated spirit root, divine spirit bone, and supreme blood. Heavens, if that's true, it's absolutely terrifying. The divine spirit bone is even above the supreme bone. It's a natural foundation for a divine spirit. Without any need to cultivate, just growing up will allow someone to automatically become a god or immortal. How could such a thing appear in the mortal world? If that's true, what was the goal of the divine families? They destroyed one genius to create another genius. 
shocked discussions started. This news caused huge waves even amongst the Dragonblood warriors. They had always thought that Long Chen's father and mother were Long Shiang Xiao and Mrs. Long. All they knew was that Long Chen's talent was special and that he had no spirit root. But they didn't know that his spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone had been taken thinking of how Long Chen had been schemed against when he was just a baby. The Dragonblood warriors were shocked and infuriated. They had an urge to charge into the camp of the Divine Families and slaughter them right now. You are the son of the Devil Slaughtering Saint. Long's Hanshin, you're actually still alive. An old man suddenly walked out of the Long family's camp. His body quivered with emotion that seemed to be joy. This elder was an early heaven merging expert, but his face was covered in countless scars. What a shocking sight. Ha ha ha. Good. Good. Long's Hanshin's son is still alive. Ha ha ha. Your retribution has come. His son has come for revenge. Ha ha ha. The elder suddenly began to laugh like he was deranged. Tears squeezed out of his eyes others from the Long family immediately collapsed upon him. However, he roared furiously. You ingrates. For your so-called big plan, you personally destroyed a genius for that woman. Forcing Long's Hanshin to slaughter the Long family's experts. We lost over 90% of our top experts because of you. Now your retribution has come. Ha ha ha. Retribution has come. The elder was finally knocked unconscious by someone. However, his final roar continued to echo through the air. The devil slaughtering saint, the one said to be the number one genius in 10,000 years. Daoist Heavenly Feather was shocked. He mastered a thousand techniques, merged with 10,000 Daos, and created his own magical arts and divine abilities. It is said that he was the only one from the Martial Heaven continent who managed to enter Devil Spirit Mountain and return safe and sound. Who would have thought that Long Chen was his son? If Long Chen wasn't his son, how could he manage to reach his current level even after his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone were taken, said the high priest with a faint smile. It seems that the mystery of the devil slaughtering saint's sudden disappearance is finally about to be uncovered, muttered Daoist Heavenly Feather as she stared at Long Chen with his towering killing intent. Chapter 2673 The Lord Saint descends Everyone looked from Long Chen to Long Aotian and then to the Divine Family's experts. Although they didn't understand what had happened, they knew that Long Chen definitely had some giant secret to his past. The Martial Heaven Continent had a few people who had heard of the Devil Slaughtering Saint, and those who knew it were all behemoths. Their shocked looks told others that this existence had been a startling figure. That bastard seed is still alive. The Long Deputy Elder's expression sank. He now looked at Long Chen with immense hatred. Although he hadn't interacted much with Long Chen before, at the very least, his attitude toward him had not been bad. He had wanted to raise Long Chen as a chess piece of the Long family, but upon knowing his true identity, he immediately became furious. Deputy Elder, control yourself. It's been many years. Your bloodline wasn't completely wiped out by Long's Hanshin. Aren't you still left? Laughed the Zhao family head. Back then. The Divine Families had seen Long's Hanshin slaughtering the experts of the Long family in order to learn of his son's whereabouts. He went mad, killing anyone he saw. The Deputy Elder's bloodline had participated in that matter, resulting in Long's Hanshin slaughtering them. If it wasn't for the Deputy Elder's good luck, he wouldn't have survived either. He had only managed to survive because the Lord Saint had come before Long's Hanshin's gaze fell on him. That was why the deputy elder hated Long's Hanshin to the core. That hatred now fell on his son, Long Chen. The Long family had originally been the strongest of the four divine families, having possessed over 10,000 heaven merging experts. Their power completely eclipsed the other three families. However, ever since that battle, the Long family's core was grievously wounded. They fell to the point that they became the weakest of the four families. The other three families were only told that Long's Hanshin had been invaded by a heart devil while attempting to break past the saint realm, causing him to become bedeviled and start slaughtering others. However, none of them believed that excuse. They made some secret investigations, but the Long family locked down this information. Even the Lord Saint sent down orders for others not to mention this matter again. As a result, even the Jiang, Zhao, 
and Yi families only knew that the Long family was hiding some unspeakable secret over this matter. At that time, they merely felt that the matter was too embarrassing for the Long family to talk about. Furthermore, when they heard that the Long family's greatest genius, one who might be able to become a sovereign in the future, had gone mad, they felt some pity for him but also some delight. The domineering Long family had finally declined. After hearing Long Chen's words, the karma involved in this matter instantly became clear to the family heads of the three families. Now they knew why Long's Hanshin had gone crazy, so his son's spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone had been stolen. At that time, the rumors were that Long's Hanshin had died prematurely due to some unknown reason, but considering how many of the Long family's experts he had killed, there was no way that the Long family would let his progeny survive. His son's death was natural. However, only now did they learn that their assumption had been wrong. Boom. The heavens suddenly tore open, and a group of people descended from the opening. A terrifying pressure appeared. The leader of that group was a large middle-aged man. He had a stern face and a square nose. He wore violet gold robes, a crown, and belt. He was like an emperor overlooking his subjects. Greetings to the Lord Saint. The Lord Venerate and the family heads immediately bowed. Only then did the other experts of the divine families learn that this person was someone with the highest authority within the divine families, the Lord Saint. The Lord Saint waved his hand, indicating not to be so formal. He looked at Long Chen and Long Aotian in the tribulation. Chen Er, I am your great grandfather, Long Jun Wu. The matter from back then was an immense misunderstanding. I can explain the details to you after your tribulation. You are both the pride of the Long family and shouldn't kill each other. Rather than fighting amongst ourselves, we must be united against our enemies, said the Lord Saint. His voice resounded through the sky like an imperial edict, piercing directly into people's souls and making them unable to go against his will. What? The Lord Saint is Long Chen's great-grandfather. This matter was continuing to grow bigger and bigger. Even the Divine Family's Lord Saint had appeared. Feng Fei stared in disbelief. How had Long Chen suddenly become a member of the Divine Families? Furthermore, he was the descendant of the Long Family's Devil King. Even the Lord Saint personally came. There was another man standing beside Long Jun Wu. He was a graceful man who possessed the air of immortality around him. His appearance was very similar to Long Aotian, just with an extra beard and mustache. He was Long Aotian's father, Long Kifeng. However, he appeared more elegant and steady than Long Aotian. Grandfather, this Long Chen can't be left alive. Now that things have progressed to this point, there's no way of going back, whispered Long Kifeng. Shut up, barked Long Jun Wu. Back then, you were the wrong ones. Otherwise, such a calamity would never have occurred. How can we cover up wrongs with more wrongs? His voice was like lightning splitting the heavens, causing everyone to jump. Long Chen, go through your tribulation calmly. Trust me, once your tribulation is over, I will personally explain everything that happened from start to end, said Long Jun Wu. At this moment, Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder, but his gaze toward Long Aotian did not change just because of Long Jun Wu's arrival. That chilling killing intent remained. His blood rapidly circulated through his body, going faster and faster. His killing intent had infected every piece of bone and every drop of blood in his body. The first time Long Jun Wu spoke, Long Chen didn't even seem to hear him. But the second time he spoke, there were finally some fluctuations in Long Chen's eyes. He finally turned to Long Jun Wu, asking with a hoarse voice, Who is my father? Who is my mother? That hoarse voice sounded like life and death were chafing against each other. It didn't sound like the voice of a human, as if it came from hell. Your father was a peerless genius of the divine families, Long's Hanshin. Your mother was named Luo Ningxuang. Long Junwu suddenly paused when he mentioned Long Chen's mother. Are they still alive? Long Chen's voice was still icy. His killing intent instantly locked onto Long Aotian. Chapter 2674 Outside this world they should be alive, said Long Junwu hesitantly. What does that mean? Should be alive, roared Long Chen, his eyes scarlet. When it came to his birth parents, he only remembered their voices and two pairs of warm hands. However, that short scene had allowed Long Chen to sense their love for him. 
He could feel his father's expectations for him and the tenderness of his mother. To his parents, he was the heavens, the world. Although Long Chen didn't have children yet and so he hadn't experienced what it meant to be a father, he knew that if anyone dared to touch his child, he would become crazy. In that state, he wouldn't mind destroying the entire world. He hoped that his parents were still alive, but considering that they had not communicated with him in so many years, they had to be in a bitter situation. Long Chen, don't get emotional. Your father and mother have left the martial heaven continent. They are in the divine world. I say should because I also don't know what their current situation is like, said Long Junwu. The divine world? People were startled. How was that possible? The path to the divine world had been severed. People from the martial heaven continent were no longer able to ascend to the divine world. A brat still wet behind the ears also dares to say such big words? You dare to question the Lord Saint? What about the dignity of the divine families? Lord Saint, are you not indulging him too much? Suddenly, space twisted and a woman appeared, looking icily arrogant. She wore imperial robes and had her hair tied up in an ornament. Although she looked beautiful, the innate arrogance exuding out of her gave off an extremely uncomfortable feeling. She immediately began to target Long Chen, surprising people. Just who was she to dare say such words to the Lord Saint? Her cultivation base was merely at the late heaven merging realm. Someone from outside this world, Daoist heavenly feathers pupils shrank. That woman's aura was different from the experts of the martial heaven continent. Furthermore, her aura was a bit similar to Long Aeotian. Daoist heavenly feather was sure that she was Long Aeotian's mother. Long Junwu's expression sank. This place has nothing to do with you. Oh, how could that be? Long Hanshan's spawn is still alive. Back then, Long Hanshan slaughtered the Long family's experts, causing rivers of blood to flow. Later on, the four family saints were forced to take action, and only then was he suppressed. Even then, four were killed, and two were seriously injured. Only you escaped unscathed. Are you thinking of protecting Long Hanshan and Luo Ningxuang's spawn due to him having mercy on you back then? Said the woman indifferently. Gasps rang out. Long Chen was already terrifying enough, but who would have thought that his father was even more terrifying? He had actually fought against four saints, killing four and injuring two? Shut up. Who do you think you are to insult my parents? Raged Long Chen, pointing Evil Moon at her. Long Chen, if you dare to be disrespectful to my mother, I will kill you right now, shouted Long Aeotian. As expected, Daoist Heavenly Feather's guess was correct. This woman was truly Long Aeotian's mother. Long Aeotian also no longer bothered hiding his killing intent toward Long Chen. The woman suddenly laughed at Long Chen. Oh, that appearance of a wild dog that wants to bite people is truly like your dead father. Let me tell you, your mother was a slut who very likely died upon returning to the divine world. As for your father, after committing such a grave sin, he was detained in the divine world and executed. His corpse has long since grown cold. As for you shut your mouth. Long Junwu shouted furiously. His voice so powerful that it caused countless people to faint. Lord Saint. You wish for your granddaughter-in-law to shut up. So I will naturally obey. However. What's the point of being so loud? Is it a show of my toward my family? The Luo family has been fully offended by you. Are you planning on offending my family as well? Said Long Aeotian's mother indifferently. You, you, just scram. Long Junwu shuddered from rage. He clenched his fists like he might crush her, but he didn't. That was because her origins were extremely terrifying. Killing her might be easy, but the power behind her couldn't be provoked. Long Aeotian's mother knew this, which was why she was so fearless. You don't need to scram. Although I don't know the whole story, I will not permit anyone to blaspheme my parents. I don't know why you hate my parents so much but my style isn't to care why. I have always believed a blood debt must be repaid with blood. The enmity between your generation actually caused you to harm a newborn baby who wasn't even a month old. So whatever reasons or law behind that are inconsequential. My vengeance starts today. Long Aeotian, you have what is mine. First, I will take it back. Long Chen's killing intent suddenly vanished, replaced with a frightening calmness which made it feel like time and space had frozen. 
Long Chen didn't know about the enmities in his parents' generation, but he didn't care about those either. If they managed to implicate a newborn baby, it already showed all he cared to know. The cause wasn't important. The process wasn't important. Right and wrong weren't important. What was important was that Long Chen had to find justice for himself. Heaven and earth were calm, and the five sovereigns stood there, quietly watching. The five of them were the final wave of the heavenly tribulation. At this moment, the dragon woman, the blood fiend devil lord, the aldevil heaven walker, and Yi Ming stared in shock at Long Chen. Everything that had occurred today was unbelievable. Long Chen actually possessed such a terrifying origin. His spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone had been taken, but he had still managed to cultivate to this level. That was heaven defying. Long Aotian sneered. No wonder I've always found you displeasing to the eye. Fine. I'll end you today so you can reunite with your family. Long Aotian's dragon spear buzzed and dragon roar shook the sky. As the nine dragons in his manifestation changed, a sharp pressure shot out. Chapter 2675 The Lord Saint's Helplessness Nine dragons roared within Long Aotian's manifestation. Every three dragons wound together, unleashing ripples that filled the world. This is the manifestation of the spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone after being fully activated. It is when the essence, chi, and spirit become one, the legendary supreme power, heavens, the supreme bone has been fully activated cried out an ancient elder who looked to be a living fossil. Despite his cultivation base only being in the early heaven merging realm, his reputation was quite great. He had spent his life studying ancient tomes and relics. Seeing this ancient phenomenon before him, he couldn't help letting out a startled cry. Aotian, as the Lord Saint, I order you to retreat from the heavenly tribulation shouted Long Junwu. Long Aotian shook his head. Sorry, but I cannot obey. You are the master of the divine families, so I should listen to you. But he has insulted my mother. The two of us cannot exist beneath the same heavens, so I must kill him today. If this offends you. I will await your punishment after I kill him. If you have to kill me for this, I will accept it. Long Aotian's mother smiled sinisterly at Long Aotian's indifferent reply to the Lord Saint's orders. You, the Lord Saint was infuriated, but he couldn't enter the tribulation. Hence, he could only watch. Grandfather, there is no choice to be made any longer. If Long Chen doesn't die. The Long family and perhaps even the entire divine families will not be able to rest in peace. How will we accomplish our mission then? Said Long Kifeng. Shut up. You two husband and wife are the cause of this. If it weren't for you, would the Long family have turned into this state? Would the divine families have fallen? If it weren't for you, the Long family would have both Aotian and Long Chen. Together, they would dominate this world. Who would care about these invading enemies? cursed Long Junwu. Long Kifeng shook his head. Grandfather, as Lord Saint, you must consider things from the view of the divine families. In front of Prophet, emotion will only get in the way. Aotian has amazing talent, so becoming sovereign is no problem for him. After that, the martial heaven continent's problem will be settled, and we will ascend to the divine world. Aotian is the greatest talent of our bloodline. With him, we can bring honor to our ancestors in this generation. What is wrong with that? Why look back on the past? Instead, we should look to the future. Aotian is our only hope now. So what if Long Chen's spirit bone, spirit blood, and spirit root have been assimilated by Aotian? Are we supposed to kill Aotian and return them to Long Chen? And what would that do? It would simply destroy the only hope of glory for the Long family. Long Junwu's expression grew uglier and uglier as Long Kifeng spoke. However, he couldn't retort. The matter back then was something that he had been unaware of until it was too late. This husband and wife pair had already made their move then. At that time, Long's Hanshin had been so furious that he wanted to kill everyone who had participated. Six of their saints had been aware of it. Only he, Long Junwu, hadn't been. Perhaps that was why Long's Hanshin's furious reprisal had ended up missing him. Long's Hanshin had truly been mighty back in the day, arriving all the way to the Saint Realm at such a young age even without the chi flow of the continent being activated. Truly an astonishing figure. However, all that had been ruined by these two. 
When Long A Ocean was born back then, the heavens unleashed a phenomenon to show that his life would not be ordinary. According to the Divine Family's customs, Long A Ocean was destined to be the main character of this dark era. Him becoming sovereign was almost set in stone. However, Long Chen's birth had drawn intense jealousy from A Ocean's father and mother. A mutated spirit root, divine spirit bone, and supreme spirit blood, that was practically a heaven defying immortal sprout. The long kiffing of that time was the number two expert of the divine family's junior generation. In terms of power, no one could compete with him other than Long's Hanshin. However, one was first, and the other was second. The difference between them was as great as heaven and earth. In front of Long's Hanshin, Long Kiffin couldn't even last for 10 exchanges. It could be said that the Long's Hanshin of that time was someone who stood at the peak of the divine families. Even at such a young age, his accomplishments far surpassed his seniors. The Lord Saint seemed to age a great deal while looking at this sight. A peerless genius like Long Chen had been ruined just like this. Furthermore, the Lord Saint couldn't stop the battle between Long Chen and Long A Ocean. As the Lord Saint, he was also unable to do anything when it came to Long's Hanshin or Long Chen. He could only helplessly watch. What had been done could not be undone. There was no going back and also no way to resolve this enmity. No matter how much compensation he gave Long Chen. So what? Could he pay Long Chen back for everything that he had lost? Perhaps this is a faded clash. Being killed by A Ocean is Long Chen's best ending, said Long Kifeng to the downhearted Long Junwu. Faked? Perhaps. The Lord Saint shook his head. He waved his hand, vanishing from sight. Lord Saint, the Divine Family's people cried out in shock. What was the Lord Saint doing? He was just leaving just like this? The Lord Saint cannot bear to see disciples killing each other. So he left. However, two stunning geniuses have now appeared in the Long family. This battle has truly opened my eyes to the world said the Zhao family head with a sinister smile Novaloon.com Long Chen's status made the Long family's people feel extremely embarrassed. The matter from back then had even been dragged out, and this tightly clamped down secret was now public. This was the greatest shame to the Long family. The Long family should have originally reached incomparable heights due to the geniuses like Long's Hanshin, Long A Ocean, and Long Chen. But now, Long's Hanshin's whereabouts were unknown and Long Chen and Long A Ocean were mortal enemies. The two of them were clashing in the tribulation with no one being able to stop them. It was very likely that after today, only one of them would leave alive. To the Zhao family that had lost Jarishan, it didn't matter whether Long Chen killed Long A Ocean or Long A Ocean killed Long Chen. They were both good things. The Zhao family had finally felt some delight in this matter. Long Chen was the one who had killed Jarishan and Long A Ocean had simply watched without saving him. So both of them were enemies according to the Zhao family head. In fact, she hoped for both of them to die to the tribulation. At this moment, the gaze of every expert of the martial heaven continent was locked onto Long Chen and Jarishan. Their hearts clenched. Long Chen, how about you save some energy? Your big sister will help you kill him. The five sovereigns were originally just calmly watching when Sovereign Han Wei suddenly spoke. Shocking everyone. Chapter 2676 Manifestation of the Heaven's Wrath Was this the confidence of a sovereign? Even if Long A Ocean had summoned a supreme manifestation, they still had confidence in killing him? It had to be known that Sovereign Han Wei and the others were not bodies of flesh and blood. Hence, even though their cultivation bases were equal to Long Chen and the others, their true power was definitely not as great as when they were alive. Despite that, Sovereign Han Wei had the confidence to kill Long A Ocean? If it was someone else, people would have no faith in such a statement. But when it came from the mouth of a sovereign, no one dared to doubt her. Many thanks, but this enmity between us should be avenged by myself. Long Chen cupped his fists to Sovereign Han Wei, thanking her for forcing out Long A Ocean's skills. Otherwise, he might still not know his origins. Then let me just warn you that the people you drew in for your tribulation aren't very helpful. The final karma is locked onto you. This tribulation does not wish for you to take this final step, and the heavenly Deus mercilessly wished to kill you. Although you pulled those people in, the heavenly Deus also sent in more power. Therefore, 
There is no way for us to let you pass. The only thing you can do is display your own techniques. Be prepared, said Sovereign Han Wei. Sovereign Han Wei truly cared about Long Chen. Hence, he was touched, but he still shook his head. Thank you for your care. Some things must be resolved by myself. Don't worry, I won't die. I will definitely come out of this tribulation alive. Sovereign Han Wei was the only one of the five sovereigns who cared about him so much. The others had withdrawn from worldly affairs. Having seen the world rise and fall, they had reached a level where nothing could shake them. However, Sovereign Han Wei's heart had not been cast away yet. That was why Long Chen could clearly sense her true emotions for him. Sovereign Han Wei was the one he felt the closest to, as well as the most real out of all the sovereigns. Sovereign Han Wei had even fought to save Long Chen some energy to face the upcoming tribulation and give him a slightly higher chance of passing. While Long Chen believed that the other four sovereigns were also utterly sincere when it came to helping him, they didn't do anything to express it. That didn't mean that they didn't care for him, just that they believed in him. It was only Sovereign Han Wei who perhaps cared so much that she would do so much for him. Perhaps that was the difference between a man and a woman. She was much more meticulous when it came to her feelings toward him. Long Chen was also aware that now wasn't the optimal time to fight Long Aotian, but the pride within his soul refused to allow him to borrow Sovereign Han Wei's power to fight Long Aotian. Long Aotian had things that belonged to Long Chen. Hence, in this battle, Long Chen had to personally take them back. He couldn't retreat. Hearing this, Sovereign Han Wei smiled and no longer said anything. She simply gave him an encouraging smile. What a huge joke. Even a dead man dares to say that they will kill me. Long Aotian? Moreover, a cripple without a spirit root, spirit blood, or spirit bone is the one you place your hopes on? This is your candidate for the next sovereign? Are you blind? Fine. Since you have no eyes, I will personally take that karmic luck pearl and show the world who this generation's chosen son of the heavens is, said Long Aotian. Although he sneered at the sovereigns, there was jealousy in his eyes. What kind of morality did Long Chen have to obtain the approval of all five sovereigns? Long Aotian, you're too shameless. Just like the rest of your family cursed Guo Ran, your daddy and mommy stole my boss's spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. You're practically worse than broods. Yet you dare say such arrogant words? If such a despicable thing had not occurred, would you be able to block a single finger from my boss? The one who had worshipped Long Chen the longest and the most was Guo Ran. But he had been completely unaware that Long Chen had his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone taken away from him as a baby. His accomplishments today had nothing to do with his innate talent. Now that his origins were exposed, all the dragon blood warriors were infuriated, wishing that they could charge into the tribulation and tear Long Aotian to pieces. Even if they died, it would be worth it. The dragon blood warriors had never hated someone so much. Thinking of that cruelness, it felt like blades were stabbing their hearts. Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Dong Mingyu, and the others were holding back tears. Long Chen had always been a solid pillar holding up the sky for them. None of them had thought that such cruelty and helplessness lay behind his strength. That scoundrel, why didn't he tell us? Tang Wanur sobbed her heart feeling like it was being crushed. The Long Chen she saw was always the mischievous joker. She had never thought that he had been enduring all this pain. He wants to only show us his best side so we're at ease. His own pain, he keeps inside. Side Meng Chi, due to having seen that scene back then, she had known a little bit about his origins. But Long Chen had told her not to tell anyone, and she had kept this secret for him. Seeing Long Aotian alive and even provoking Long Chen, they were all enraged. Dong Mingyu had an urge to assassinate Long Aotian right now. Yi Zhikyu seemed to know what Dong Mingyu was thinking and held her back. Although Yi Zhikyu was a woman of few words and her face was icier than ever, her tears were like ice crystals falling down her face. In the face of Guo Ran's cursing and the furious gazes of countless experts, Long Aotian merely laughed. Ha ha ha. The heavenly deos are emotionless. Experts are respected in this world. Without fighting and killing, would this still be the cultivation world? If reason could settle things in this world, would there be fighting? There is no right or wrong in this world. 
You don't even understand this, you ants. You will remain ants for the rest of your lives. Even the divine family's experts couldn't bear watching Long Aotian's arrogance now. However, he was correct. The cultivation world was just that cruel. This was reality. Fairness? Justice? Morality? All of them were a masquerade not worth a single cent. Looking at Long Chen, people were surprised by his calmness. He didn't react to Long Aotian's provocations. As Long Chen took a deep breath, his divine ring began to spin rapidly. All of a sudden, a wild will erupted. At this moment, the sky became covered in cracks, and the dome of the heavens shattered, revealing countless stars up above. It's the heavens' wrath manifestation. Fury shatters the heavens, exclaimed Bao Buping. This was the phenomenon that would appear when the heavens' wrath state was pushed to the peak. Long Chen suddenly moved, transforming into a beam of light shooting toward Long Aotian. His saber slashed down. In that instant, everyone's hearts tightened. Chapter 2677 Heaven and Earth resonate It doesn't matter how strong you are. In front of me, you are nothing. Some people simply have their fate set once they are born. Long Aotian remained as arrogant as ever even when he saw the terrifying phenomenon that Long Chen evoked. The nine dragons behind Long Aotian converged into three parts each. His essence, chi, and spirit were bound into one. At this moment, his dragon spear pierced forward. Immortal light and black chi exploded when the saber and spear met. The clash of the two divine weapons caused the world to quiver in fear. It was as if the laws of the world were afraid of their power. As a result, ripples spread, crushing heaven and earth. People felt their souls being twisted. This was a kind of power that was practically unaffected by the restrictions of space. Absolutely terrifying. If struck directly by these ripples, it would probably instantly kill me, cried out someone. They were already extremely far from the core of the heavenly tribulation, but these ripples still made them feel overwhelmed. If they were in the core, they would be turned to dust. Such a terrifying fight was something that they couldn't even get close to, let alone participate in. As a matter of fact, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Aldevil Heaven Walker, the Dragon Woman, and Yi Ming's expressions also changed. The power that Long Chen and Long Aotian had displayed was so great that it even made their hearts leap. The Heaven Splitting Divine Sect's Heaven's Wrath Manifestation? Haha, <laughs> a bit interesting. To shatter the heavens and enrage the cosmos, it truly feels a bit like splitting the heavens. However, you are just an ant like existence. Just the power of the martial heaven continent is already like an ocean to you. But you actually want to reach further and take the energy of the cosmos? You don't know your own place, sneered Long Aotian. The power of the martial heaven continent was devoured by Long Aotian's nine dragon manifestation. He was in control of almost the entire world's energy. However, Long Chen's heaven's wrath manifestation had now shattered the heavens. It wasn't just the heavens of the martial heaven continent that were enraged but also the very cosmos. This was a power belonging outside of the martial heaven continent. Nevertheless, to cause the cosmos to be completely infuriated from the martial heaven continent was nothing more than a fool's dream. Long Chen had activated the manifestation, but he was only able to draw out the slightest bit of power. It was like an ant was standing on a leaf, unable to draw out the power of the leaf. It vainly tried to absorb the power of the entire tree. That was why Long Aotian was mocking him. Idiot. What do you know? Fury shatters the heavens is something that only occurs when one's fury resonates with the world. It has nothing to do with borrowing power. Cursed Bao Buping. Long Aotian's insults toward Long Chen were also insults toward the secret art of the heaven-splitting divine sect. Infuriating all their disciples. Ignorant trash. You'll know what fury shatters the heavens means in a bit, added Chang Hao. He was full of expectation for Long Chen's manifestation. On the other hand, Long Chen remained silent, his gaze sinisterly cold. The heavens above him had been broken, and millions of stars shuddered. Right now, Long Chen felt unprecedented anger. This anger was not just his own but also the anger of the entire world and even the entire cosmos. It was a resonance between them. Heaven and earth had emotions. All things had spirits. The current Long Chen was in a peculiar state. His essence, Qi, and spirit had been entrusted to Evil Moon, Ling'er, and Little Heaven. Hence, 
He felt more like a spectator. He didn't know what this manifestation of the heaven's wrath was. All he knew was that he could feel the anger of everything within heaven and earth. It was a feeling of rage at being suppressed and suppressed until one's resentment transformed into a furious counterattack. In that instant, Long Chen felt his mind become clear. He instantly understood that all things in this universe were not free. They all had restrictions. However, they also had their own wills that wanted to break free of their destined orbits. It was just like someone living in the secular world. They had to obey the laws. If they wanted to survive in this bloody and cruel world, they had to know the rules, both spoken and unspoken. They had to bend toward those restrictions in order to live. Humans were like this. Other life forms were like this. And even the martial heaven continent was like this. These laws made people furious yet helpless. At this moment, Long Chen felt like he understood the feelings of all things in this world. It was incredibly clear. Now he understood what the heaven's wrath was. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen's arms shook. He was knocked back by a burst of power from Long Aotian's spear, causing him to exit that marvelous state. He then looked at Long Aotian. How needlessly complicated. What kind of amazing techniques could a little heaven-splitting divine sect possibly have? Today, I'll show you the true power of the divine families, sneered Long Aotian. Three flowers converge. 10,000 Dao slaughter. The nine dragons in Long Aotian's manifestation were in groups of three and began to revolve like three flower petals, forming a giant whirlpool in the sky. As the giant whirlpool spun, Long Aotian's spear pierced out. At this moment, a streak of light pierced through the void, shooting past Long Chen and continuing on to the end of the world. Wherever that light went, a giant black channel erupted which contained chaotic laws that devoured and destroyed each other. It was a channel of annihilation. That kind of power was something that even made heaven-merging experts feel like their souls would flee. That's. People stared. Dumbfounded. That attack was incredibly bizarre. It contained laws that mutually attacked and devoured each other. If struck, not even a god would be able to block it. That attack contains too many laws. Furthermore, they clash with each other. How could there be such a magical art in this world? While people were stunned by this attack, they also found it curious that Long Chen hadn't moved at all. That attack had simply flown past him, leaving behind that strange channel. Long Chen, do you know why I didn't aim at you? Said Long Aotian coldly. Only once he said this did people understand that he had done it on purpose, and it wasn't that Long Chen had somehow dodged. People looked at Long Chen only to find that his expression was still calm. That terrifying attack hadn't caused him to blink an eye even as it flew right past him. It was as if he had known that this would happen. Long Chen indifferently said, Go ahead and say your bullshit. Long Aotian didn't get angry. Instead, he chortled. Do you know? That attack was created by your father. Your father truly was an amazing genius. He managed to dissolve 10,000 Deos into one extracting the aspects of the laws that supported each other. Instead, this is an attack containing berserk laws that clash, devour, and annihilate everything in their midst. It cannot be blocked. I'm kindly showing you this so that you can die in peace. Ha ha ha. Despicable. Countless people cursed him. He actually used Long Shanshan's divine ability to infuriate Long Chen. You really are foolish. Do you know the consequences of adding oil to the fire? Do you know that you will burn yourself? Long Chen shook his head. Moreover, do you know that you missed your only chance to kill me just now? As Long Chen pointed Evil Moon at Long Aotian, the world suddenly rumbled explosively. The sea exploded into the sky, and an invisible fury filled the world. Long Chen's fury was resonating with heaven and earth. Chapter 2678 My fury is the heaven's fury The sea exploded into the sky as though it was enraged as well. Powerful currents flew through the air. At this moment, the entire world had gone berserk. It was as if a volcano had erupted, unleashing an apocalypse. As for Long Chen, he was the god of that apocalypse who had come to the world. The shocking anger of heaven and earth shook people deep into their souls. In the face of that fury, they could only cower. The heaven's wrath? No. My fury is the fury of the heavens. From the moment that I came to this world, it was fated that I would control it, not that the heavens would control me. Long Chen's voice was emotionless. 
When he spoke, everyone's hearts trembled. Was Long Chen provoking the heavenly deos? Was he not afraid of being destroyed? Was he not afraid of being rejected by the heavenly deos and never being able to cultivate again? A heretical technique. A bluff. Three flowers converge. Ten thousand deos slaughter. Long Aotian shouted, and his spear unleashed the same attack once more. The void shuddered again as a black light pierced toward Long Chen. Its aura was even greater than last time. An attack combining ten thousand laws. Ten thousand deos? So what? Man comes from the earth. The earth comes from the heavens. The heavens come from the Tao. And the Tao is natural. To be natural and unrestrained is the true Tao. Why bother restricting it into laws? Those so-called laws are fish trapped in a net. People trapped in cages. All creations in slavery. And spirits in servitude. All creation belongs to me. All spirits follow my way. I contain all their fury. All their limitless power is mine. I will not be restrained by any laws or any heavens. Long Chen's voice rang throughout every corner of the world. It was backed by the voice of all living things. His final sentence, I will not be restrained by any laws or any heavens, in particular caused the world to shake. It was as if countless voices were speaking along with him, shaking people's ears. These were Long Chen's heartfelt words. However, they also felt like the heartfelt words of all life. The anger of all creation could clearly be sensed from him, and endless power was pouring into Long Chen's body. Battling nonsense won't change your fate of being killed, sneered Long Aotian. Long Aotian's spear once more stabbed toward Long Chen. In the face of this attack, Long Chen slashed Devil Moon, and a black saber image containing endless power slashed onto the spear image. Boom. This was a world-shaking blow. One contained all the power of the heavenly deos, while the other contained the fury of all life. Hence, the world instantly lost all color. Following that, a black sphere quickly expanded. It felt as if the world was spinning. Quite a few people fell unconscious. Space is in chaos. The laws of space were no longer orderly. That feeling was like they were tossed into a whirlpool or being crushed by a giant boulder. They couldn't tell which way was east or west, north or south, left or right, up or down. To cultivators that were used to being in control, this was an even worse feeling. Fortunately, this chaos only reigned for a moment before stopping. The feeling faded, and people managed to see Long Chen and Long Aotian once more. Their two weapons were still clashing, unleashing black ripples in every direction. As a result, giant spatial tears were constantly appearing and healing. What kind of power is this? It's enough to spark despair. Watching this scene, even the fellow heavenly geniuses of this generation felt minuscule in front of the two of them. The difference between them was truly great. Mo Nian, Hu Fang, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and the others were also staring in shock at Long Chen. When did Long Chen learn such a terrifying technique? Only Yun Shian's expression was still calm. That incredibly intense battle didn't draw his interest. His gaze wasn't locked on Long Chen but on sovereign Yun Shang. At this moment, a mysterious rune lit up in Yun Shian's eyes and the same rune appeared in Sovereign Yun Shang's eyes. It seemed as if the two of them were communicating. As for Zi Yan, she was seated in the sky, her hands on the Southern Sea Zither. The Southern Sea Zither was emitting fluctuations that enveloped her. Meanwhile, her eyes were closed as if she was meditating. At the edge of the core region, the pill fairy was holding Wan King's arms. Wan Qing had long since cried her eyes red. Having never imagined that her mighty big brother Long had such a miserable origin. On the other hand, the pill fairy's expression had not changed at all from the start. Whether it was the appearance of the five sovereigns or Long Aotian's sudden reveal of power, nothing seemed to interest her. While staring at Long Chen, her eyes lost focus. It was as if she was lost in thought, but it was unknown what she was thinking. As Long Chen and Long Aotian's power increased, the berserk chaotic phenomenon that they were causing also increased. It felt as if their power was limitless as it continuously rose. Boom. Finally, the black sphere growing around them exploded, and sharp astral winds shot out like blades. As a result, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Dragon Woman, and Yi Ming were caught by those astral winds. Giant ripples exploded as they blocked the winds. At the center of the battlefield, 
Long Chen and Long Aotian separated. The two of them stared at each other like leopards looking at their prey. Just now, they had ended up even, which then made Long Aotian's expression change slightly. He had underestimated Long Chen. It had to be known that in his current state with the nine dragons devour the heavens diagram, he was in full control of the heavenly Tao energy of the world. However, Long Chen had the wrath of all life. All life forms in the world were giving him their fury, and this gave him another kind of energy, making him capable of contending with Long Aotian's heavenly Tao energy. The latter hadn't expected such a thing. Good, it seems that you do have the qualifications to fight me. Then the warm-up is over. I'll bring out my true power to end you. Novaloon.com Long Aotian pointed his spirit Long Chen, his mouth curling into an icily arrogant smile. What startled cries rang out. Chapter 2679 Shameless A warm-up Such an explosive battle was just a warm-up? Was that an insult to their intelligence? However, when they looked at Long Aotian's expression, it didn't seem to be a lie. Furthermore, with Long Aotian's power, he didn't need to brag. For a moment, people were simply dumbfounded. Even the power of their warm-up was enough to make people feel despair. So what would happen if they went all out? And me? This grand aspiration of yours will never be achieved in this lifetime. A despicable little person who stole other people's talent also dares to say such big words? The world must have really changed. I used to curse the heavens for being blind. But now I understand. It's not that the heavens are blind but that they have no eyes at all. Even trash like you can stand in such a position. The so-called heavenly deos are nothing more than a heavenly joke. Fortunately, I, Long Chen, have never believed in those heavens. Long Chen had entered a special kind of state. Having completely mastered the wrath of heaven and earth, he no longer needed to be careful. The heaven's wrath state of the heaven splitting divine sect was still something that controlled heavenly Tao energy, something within the scope of the heavenly Daos. However, Long Chen had entered a peculiar state that was outside of that scope. He had escaped the limitations of the heaven's wrath state and was viewing the world from a different angle. Having seen the essence of the heaven's wrath, he used his fury to form a resonance with all life that was restricted by the heavenly Daos. Hence, his heaven's wrath state was fundamentally no longer the same as the heaven-splitting divine sect's heaven's wrath. It was precisely due to this that Long Chen said that Long Aotian had missed his only chance to kill him. If he hadn't shown Long Chen the three flowers converge, 10,000 Dao slaughter just to show off, Long Chen wouldn't have managed to fully comprehend this new heaven's wrath enlightenment. All life was unwilling to be restrained by the heavenly Daos. They had been suppressed for far too long. They had grown up with the restrictions of the heavenly Deos and wished to be free. It was Long Aotian's three flowers converge. 10,000 Deos slaughter that had been the spark of insight that drew Long Chen's anger together with the anger of not only the heavens but also all things beneath the heavens. That was what allowed Long Chen to possess unprecedented power. Long Chen was now fighting with the power of the heavenly Deos and all things in this world that wished for freedom were giving him their energy. Mountains, rivers, the stars, the sea, and all things within heaven and earth had now formed a subtle connection with Long Chen. The current Long Chen was truly fearless, and his power was continuously rising. It was his first time controlling so much power that came from outside of his body. Long Aotian sneered. The weak are devoured by the strong. Those are the heavenly deos. The weak aren't qualified to complain. I, Long Aotian, am the only light of this world. As for you, you're merely a fruit that the heavens prepared for me. Your spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone were taken for me. And today, your fame, position, and glory will also belong to me. You escaped death back then, perhaps because the heavens wanted me to kill you now in front of everyone as a stepping stone to my unrivaled position. You, Long Chen are fated to be nothing more than a foundation for me, Long Aotian, that is your fate, what a pity then, I, Long Chen, have never believed in fate, I just believe in my own power, I believe that today, I will beat you like a dog, then I'll tear off your flesh bit by bit in front of your father and mother so that they can experience that flavor, suddenly, Long Aotian's mother sneered, a slut is a slut, your mother was a slut, and the son she birthed is also a slut. 
No matter how hard you work, you can't escape that. As for my son Aoshin, he is fated to be this world's main character and led its experts to victory. My son is an emperor. While you were simply born with a golden key, your birth was simply to give my son that key. Do you still not understand this? Struggling when you're already through death's door is meaningless long Aoshin's mother was quite malicious. Furthermore, her voice was extremely sharp. It was unknown if this was her natural voice or if she had changed it in order to antagonize Long Chen. But anyone who heard her voice felt like cutting off her hateful tongue. Shut up. You're the slut. Everyone in your family is a slut. Long Chen didn't mind others insulting him, but he hated it the most when others insulted his family. That was especially true when it came to her biological mother and father whose fates were uncertain. His eyes instantly turned scarlet. Long Chen, accept your fate. Although your father was unmatched, he was too stupid. In the end, he was just a brash man that couldn't achieve anything. He thought that he had become unrivaled, but my sword still stabbed him through his weak spot. After being so injured, he was surrounded and suppressed, unable to escape his fate. His ending back then is a reflection of your future. Your struggle is meaningless. Just give up. Due to your father being from the same family, we can leave you an intact corpse. Long Aoshin's father also jumped in. He had a completely regretful expression. Daoist Heavenly Feather's expression changed. She instantly saw through their malicious schemes. They had clearly sensed what a threat Long Chen was. So they were antagonizing him using his parents to make him go crazy. At that time, he would be filled with openings, and Long Aoshin could easily kill him. She was about to warn Long Chen when the high priest stopped her, shaking his head. Don't worry about it. I understand this child Long Chen. Those two are truly foolish. Not knowing Long Chen's character, they don't realize that in the heaven's wrath state, the angrier he gets, the greater his power. They want to anger him to the point that he reveals an opening? What a joke. Just watch. They will pay a terrible price for their ignorance. This husband and wife pair managed to insult Long Chen's mother and then mock Long Chen's father in one go. Long Kifeng's sanctimonious appearance in particular made him feel even greater hatred. If he was telling the truth, then it was even more hateful. Considering how powerful Long's Hanshan had been, how could he have been stabbed by a sword? It was obvious that it was a despicable sneak attack, which further showed just how shameless their entire family was. Even the divine family's experts were staring at the two of them gloomily. The two of them had thrown away the face of the divine families for their own goals. Even if Long Aoshin killed Long Chen today, considering his character, could he truly lead the martial heaven continent's experts? At this moment, Long Chen's eyes were completely red as if he had gone insane. On the other hand, Long Aoshin suddenly stepped on the air and vanished, his spear piercing toward Long Chen's back without a sound. No one knew how he had suddenly moved. Watch out. Startled cries rang out. Long Chen was just standing there, as if he hadn't sensed what was happening behind him. Despicable. Shameless people were infuriated by Long Aoshin taking advantage of his parents' distraction. Just as his spear was about to pierce through Long Chen's back. Long Chen vanished. A hand suddenly appeared out of midair and slapped Long Aoshin's confused face. Boom. The void collapsed. Everyone was deathly silent. Chapter 2680 10,000 Ancient Dragon Spirit Long Chen looked like he had gone insane. In that state, his reaction speed and sense of danger were severely impacted. Moreover, Long Aoshin's sneak attack was silent and came without the slightest warning. Countless people had thought that Long Chen would be suffering a calamity, but they hadn't expected him to seemingly be well prepared and slap Long Aoshin. In that instant, time seemed to move slowly. They saw Long Aoshin's face deform bit by bit until his head was a completely different shape. They also saw Long Chen, still in his slapping posture. His headband had long since broken, causing his hair to cover up his face. After that, Long Aoshin's body fell into the martial heaven sea ring. When he landed, it was like a meteor had hit the world. This result stunned people. Had Long Chen only been faking going crazy to bait Long Aoshin into attacking? No, that couldn't be it. If he was baiting Long Aoshin, why didn't he use his saber? Then wouldn't he have easily killed him? Long Aoshin's father and mother were both shocked. 
Seeing Long Chen standing there, they suddenly felt an intense sense of unease. They were both peak experts with sharp senses toward danger. When Long Aotian had started fighting Long Chen, they had felt nervous in their hearts, which was why they had provoked Long Chen. It was because they didn't have absolute confidence that Long Aotian would win. Although they knew their son was powerful, that feeling of unease made them choose to help as much as they could. Even if the world looked down on them, they still chose to do so. They didn't want Long Aotian to be in any danger. However, Long Aotian's sneak attack had failed, and he was sent flying by a slap in the face. The slight feeling of unease they had had at the start grew much more intense. Suddenly, the sea surged. Long Aotian came flying out along with a giant water dragon, charging toward Long Chen. Long Aotian is actually skilled in water elemental divine abilities exclaimed Nangong Zuayu. She was also a water cultivator, but even she hadn't noticed before this. The water dragon Long Aotian was standing on was condensed of water energy, and that berserk power contained within it shocked her. Long Aotian's water energy was not at all inferior to hers. It had to be known that Nangong Zuayu had a water spirit body and had been born with an innate ability to control water energy. But Long Aotian hadn't been. So how did he do this? Long Aotian's face had recovered, but there was still some blood dripping out of his mouth. Right now, killing intent exploded from his eyes. Failing this attack had caused his fury to soar. Die. Long Aotian's dragon spear unleashed an explosion of water chi. Right away, the spear collided against Evil Moon's blade, unleashing a huge wave in the sky. As a result, astral winds blew back Long Chen's hair revealing his face. When they saw his face, everyone jumped in surprise. Long Chen's eyes were tightly closed. It seemed that he had entered some mysterious state. He had blocked that attack seemingly through instinct. Feeling furious, Long Aotian slid his spear down Evil Moon's body, piercing it toward Long Chen's arm. Long Chen instinctively dodged. After that, Evil Moon was pushed forward, pushing aside the spear, and a leg kicked toward Long Aotian like lightning. As a result, Long Aotian raised his left arm to block, and another powerful explosion shook the sky. Feeling a terrifying force strike him, he was forced back ten steps. With one final step, the void shuddered. He barely managed to stabilize himself and almost fell. Right now, Long Aotian was shocked and infuriated. Long Chen's power was so strange that Long Aotian's heavenly Tao energy was actually unable to block it. It even invaded his flesh and bones. He had never encountered such a thing in his life. What is that? Suddenly, people saw lines of light appear within Long Chen's divine ring. They didn't know when these lines had appeared, but there were now millions of strands of light extending to the ends of the world. People could see mysterious energy flowing through those lines and into Long Chen's divine ring. They had never seen such a phenomenon before. The power that Long Chen and Long Aotian had revealed had far surpassed the scope of their understanding. Aotian, that's the power of all living things, all the spirits within this world. Long Chen has formed a connection with them. You have to cut him off, shouted Long Aotian's mother. Her expression changed. Only a very few experts present actually knew what kind of state Long Chen was in, and what it indicated. The heavenly deos were no longer the original heavenly deos. The old heavenly deos were like an emperor who loved and respected its subjects, and thus were revered and worshipped by the commoners. However, the current heavenly deos were like a tyrant that had seized the position of emperor, enslaving and suppressing the martial heaven continent's life forms. Deep inside, those life forms felt fury, and it was this fury that merged with Long Chen's heaven's wrath. The current Long Chen had formed a connection with all their power, in theory. Heavenly Tao energy and the energy of all life should support each other. But now, on the martial heaven continent, these two energies were clashing. One was trying to suppress the other, while the other fought back. Long Aotian represented the energy of the heavenly Deos, while Long Chen represented the energy of life on the continent. Long Chen was in the midst of rapidly merging with this new energy. After all, this energy was not his. So it was not so simple for him to use it despite grasping it. Using it badly could cause his body to explode from being unable to endure so much power. Long Chen's current state was thanks to Long Aotian's pressure. He could clearly feel the anger of the mountains, the roars of the seas, 
and the howls of the veins of or all creation was raging. They wanted to give all their power to Long Chen in order to break the laws of the heavenly Deos and regain this world's freedom. You want to merge with the power of all creation? Try again in your next life. Long Aotian suddenly clenched his teeth. As he spat out a mouthful of rainbow blood, brilliant light filled the sky. This was Long Aotian's core essence blood, the supreme spirit blood that he had stolen from Long Chen. Every expert felt a chill when it appeared. That's boss's blood. The dragon blood warriors gnashed their teeth furiously. Long Aotian had stolen this blood from Long Chen. Ten thousand dragon spirits, hear my call. Bestow me the power of a dragon. Nine dragons devour the heavens diagram. Open. Long Aotian suddenly roared and a majestic dragon cry rang out. The nine dragons behind him came to life, emitting a wild aura.